depth of field. You throw a couple lights back here, so you're just in focus. Oh yeah, I want yeah. all that one day, but somebody else got to pay for that. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Uh, I always do this. Yo, stick this podcast episode. I think two sixteen. George, Greg, back in the building. We got special guest Johnny Bubbles from Rejuvenator and Many Worlds Clothing. Clothing? Yeah. Just many worlds. Sneakers and apparel. Sneakers yeah. and apparel, whatever it is. Yeah. I'm going to ask you about that, too. For sure. I'm going to tell you. A lot of people ask me, what is it? And I say, you know what? <laughs> I don't know, man. But we're going to have them on the show. I'm going to ask you what it is. you guys haven't came through. Like, I don't know what's wrong. Like, we've been open six weeks now. I don't, Bam, I don't Yeah, I don't go anywhere. Anywhere, all right? <laughs> I, the first time I'd ever seen Jeremy in Manor was Friday when I went to pick the shoes up. Or whatever really? day it was. What day, what day did the green... Spartan dunks Dunks come out no, Friday, no. Saturday Peace man I've been in there A handful of times yeah, And he's he's never been there I always text him like Bro, you never in the store Do you actually work there? I haven't been anywhere Except here All right. All right. I've been to a few places Yeah, though. you ain't even been to work So you definitely <laughs> You're right I work from the house You've been going to work nonstop. See, you've been on the streets yeah, that's Since everything happened So I ain't with it uh, We're doing top 10 I wish I could remember Who DM me And said I'm very bad at this You know who suggested Last week's Tom 10 Was Skate <laughs> Skate goes That was me what When I said do? I don't know What do we do uh, I'm trying to remember I guess right that's now. it I don't know We did top 10 Top 10 sneaker packages Oh special yeah Special that, packages That's what it was yeah, yeah, yeah. And Skate goes Oh man Y'all get so many DMs And stuff You don't even remember Who did I was like You right I have Absolutely no idea. Dang, he was bitter. But shout out to whoever suggested we do. And I told him, I said, I think we did this before a long time ago. But it's been so long ago that we're going to revisit everything. So, I mean, pretty soon we'll be back to doing top 10 journal ones. <laughs> so, it won't even matter. But uh, appreciate you, whoever you are. Please DM me after you listen to it and tell me that it was you and whatever. That's I appreciate it. Top 10 sneakers that suck, don't suck. For those who listen to this podcast from day one, we always use that term. Suck, don't suck. You know, like, and that means like. It sucks, but something about it is appealing. Like, something about it is fire. My number one, I've always said, suck, don't suck. So, like, it was easy. I put that immediately straight at the top. My number one. And when you hear me say it, you're going to know it. You're probably right, but I... All right. You know how many shoes we've said that about over the four years we've been here? Yeah, and ten many. years before that? Too many. <laughs> yeah, you right. I mean, we may not... Have Came up with that terminology, but what's the difference? I did. I invented it. All right. <laughs> My dad invented it in your office. You was there? I mean, you may have invented it, but I mean, you, for you to <laughs> expect me to remember when or where or whatever is insane. We should have been put it on a shirt. Uh, There's a lot of things you I mean, you can put still put it on a shirt. It's never too late. It's never too late, but it got to be high quality, though. <laughs> I have a really hard time making stuff, though. I was, I'm going to talk to you when you talk to you about Mini Worlds. I'm going to talk about clothing and oh, stuff. Oh, don't trip. I even brought something for you guys when we get there. Nice. I'll give it to you we need yeah, it. I was at you Hannah's restaurant now, George. on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what? You should put the shirt on now. Yo, <laughs> this, cover this yellow up. You really I like the yellow you shirt. You really bothered by this yellow. I like the yellow shirt. I'm not even going to lie to you, especially with the red hat. I was like, okay, I can see where he went with this. I do. I like the yellow shirt with the red hat. Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just saying. I'm applauding your outfit. Are you mad at me, though? <laughs> You've been talking about it nonstop since I showed up, so I don't know if applaud is the right word. George, you're one of the most <laughs> low-key people that I know. You coming yes. in here wearing a yellow shirt is dramatically different. Yeah, but low-key meaning, like, I just own T-shirts. I don't own, like... You don't own a lot of color. The most color you wear might be like a shade of pink. Kim, you put a pink shirt I was wearing on in Ohio on the IG. What are you yes, talking about? Yes, I just said that. A shade of pink. That's okay. the most color you ever wear. Huh? Ever. I mean, that's not a... Like, what? That's not a gray or a black. I mean, I don't know what you're getting at. Exactly. No, I that mean. shirt's not. Okay. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Pickups. You want to go first? Johnny, Johnny goes for a pick. You, you buy anything this week? Anything? Not this week, but I did pick up those Noir Unions that you guys hate on so Dang. heavy. <laughs> you guys hate on so heavy. I'm he still, loves them. I want to know if Union got the check from Apple yet that they deserve. They made me buy a new laptop and new internet. They should get a check from Cox wow. Communications and Apple. Huh? You upgraded like that. He did. I had to. Huh? I've sold a lot of SBs recently, so I just had money sitting in goat. <laughs> goat he goat. likes the unions. Yeah. So. Uh yeah well so you they're do. gonna they're on this list <laughs> <laughs> because they have a lot of pros and a lot of cons so I mean that's it, like the definition of suck but don't suck now I think the black pair is better and then mm. when that when that mm. man I don't remember who it was but he cut the middle part of the wing out so you can see through I, clear wings are trash I've said that many times on here or translucent whatever you want to call mm -hmm. it but when he cut the wing out so you can see through it it made it like in a million times better. And I don't know why it's that small of a thing that would do that, but... Hey, fam, what's up with you in that clear wing, though? I actually don't mind the clear yeah, wing. Yeah, you do. No, I Especially don't. when it... 
we have we seen one where it's completely filled in with one piece? No, that's exactly. the issue. That's the mm-hmm. issue with the shoe. But it's, no one said that at first until that man cut that open. We said it. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Yeah. I never. I never even thought about that until that. I said that. I said the problem with the shoe is is that every single aspect of the shoe is nothing like a Jordan Four. Different materials on the toe box. We talked about that. Yeah. I've never seen a Jordan Four ever where the side was one material and the toe box was completely different. The toe box is what? Canvas? Yeah, it's like a mesh material. Mesh, yeah, and then fire. the rest of the shoe was like, what, To me, you know, that's the best part about the shoe. Yeah. Okay. No, no, that's the waggest part. No, the toe box is the best part. You like them? I love them, yeah. You really yeah, like them? I like them. Oh, okay. All right, so for me, the guavas are a lot better in person. So we have a pair of guavas in the store that we're actually giving away, and the hey. noirs I got like as a personal pair. Um, if that's how you even pronounce it, Norris, Norris, whatever. You, you got them off a uh, union. Yeah. You got them off the union side. Yeah. Oh, but okay. then like a minute, it was like probably the easiest checkout process I've ever had. But I think I took too I long had, like, refreshing the, the page and not realizing that the link was already up. Because once it went to like negative one minute, if you scroll down, like what I should have done was minimize the font or whatever of the screen. Yeah. Because then you would have seen that. Because I heard that from a lot of people. They checked out like socks that he checked out. Like five minutes ago, like that's what he texted me. He's like, "Check it out five minutes ago." I was like, "What are you talking yeah, about?" Yeah, I was We're able to get. Here I was able to get two pairs, so like <laughs> it was easy for me. Well, I had so I had my gaming setup, so I had multiple monitors, right? Yeah. So two different browsers. It was yeah, it was easy for me to like the. It started going back in time, right? And then I was like, "What the heck is this?" So I ended up just going to Union's website, clicked on the banner, and then it just took me to the checkout, and I was just like checking out real easy, and I was like, "Oh, what? that was easy!" Like that was it. I didn't refresh the page, nothing. I went to Union's website, clicked on their little banner. And then just went through the checkout process. It was like, what color is orange? Yeah. Orange? Oh, like, ask one of those questions? Was yeah, there was a lot question. of people that struggled with that because they they hadn't been on websites. They're not, they're not used to it. Me and Sock been talking about question and answer on there to eliminate bots for like the month prior. Yeah. So I knew that would happen. But I got into the page too late because I just kept sitting there refreshing, not scrolling down to see like the product's up. Stupid. They asked what color is orange? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. That would that would have tripped me. Up. It tripped a lot of people. Out, actually, it would work. I work. People are like guava because they're thinking of like the colorway. And it's, no, see, orange. there is there are some of those questions. I've been on other websites that have asked questions, and it's not if the question is like a complicated, not a complicated, but like something you got to really think about. It's fine, but if it's right there in front of my face, I can oh. never figure. Nah, stuff but out that's like a that. definition of a tricky question, though. Because it's like a mind teaser, like yeah. what color is orange? Orange, duh. Yeah, but but like when you think about it, duh. But then you sitting there like in panic, thing, ready yeah. to type something in. It was different. I would have. I would have. Nah, there's like um, Packer only put 351 pairs of those 992s on the website, and then their question was, "What year was New Balance founded?" How many people know that off the top of their head? Uh, uh duh. I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I think I do exactly. know it, but what is it? I think it's 19. 19- 63? Nope, you're about 60 years off. Oh, really? is it? Even older? 1906. See, I was going to say wow. 1882, but that's a different date. Uh. <laughs> you would have still been wrong. You, right. you still wouldn't have been able to you're ask right, but I would have been closer. I would have been closer. Questions like that, I would have been able to think, thought about it, ran to the closet, got a pair. So I would have done something to I figure out. I was Google it, but what if you, color but is orange and orange? I would have listen, been like, there, orange. You can win on My a mind would have been You can win on Union. With stuff like that, if you search Google, because number one, they eliminated all, there was no bot checkouts. They eliminated all bot checkouts. Everything was manual. And then they had, what, they released 25,000 guavas and 15,000 noirs or something like that. So they had gigantic stock and they eliminated bots. So you had time to Google it, do whatever, Hmm. and get the, I mean, you say got two. So I will tell you this. Oh, you got two blacks or? I got one black and one guava. Okay. You go sell the guava or is that the one you're giving away in the store? That's the one we're giving away in the store. I will tell you this, all right. On, I haven't seen a bad picture of them yet on foot. That's how I'll put it. What? Yeah, they're fire. Of, of the unions. Like I said, suck but don't suck. Don't do that. Don't, you said, no, no, you don't do that because I told you two weeks ago, I was like, there's pros and cons and you and, you and Ricardo in the thread. Nah, they suck. They're, he called it one of the worst shoes of all time and you are on a Great. bandwagon with them. Uh, Smoking, crazy. Uh, that, the, the what they did with listen, the tongue sucks. Not the fact that they that they. Oh no, it. no no no! The holes in the tongue are stupid. Oh no no no! Yes, That's fine. No, it's stupid. I like that. That's why? not the best part of the shoe. Why? Why is that? Why is that stupid though? Just I think stupid. the entire shoe is fired. When I nah. first seen that that tongue that 
I guess you would say no, no, no. Blip. I'm fine with them doing like you know. They try to do like a little cutesy thing. But you, you, you don't like the tongue. cheese, cheese looking. Yeah, like Swiss cheese. Why do they have yeah. holes on it? It's dumb. Oh come on. No, no, no. style. All right, then you know what? You you I, pick and choose a part. So I'm telling you what parts are good. You say you don't like the toe box. So I'm telling you what parts I don't. That's like. That's fair. That's no, fair. Same thing. Okay. What? Okay. You know what? I'm, I think I had clear that wings. Down. Suck, what what but, makes heat? What makes heat and fire? Like, Maybe. if somebody told me to ask that, someone said, I want to know what George and well, you guys think. Well, everyone's opinion is different. Okay. Like, he said these are fire. Right. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's opinion is different. So we get that question a lot, actually, in the store, because we have this glass case, right, in which people say, oh, is this where you keep all your fire, right? Are you here? Right. That's just a well, stupid sneaker word now. Uh, yeah, that's really up to you, right? Because fire to someone could be a white cement four, right? Fire, oh. pink ones, fire, you think they suck. Rust pink ones, I don't think they suck. They're overrated. Same, same thing. Right. Same thing. But see, the definition of fire, like a, a white cement four. You want to talk about what sucks. LeBron 18 reflections suck. Suck. Capital S. Okay. But I know people that and buy them and said they're all that, right. That shoe... Tell them to tell them to wear low socks and play basketball and get back to me. <laughs> okay, All right. bam. Yes. The tongue pause is the hardest material I've ever seen on any shoe, and for them to put it on a basketball, you need two socks for the tongue not to cut your ankle up. You always got issues with cutting around your ankles. Uh, I'm gonna get you. Need, you need car hard socks. You, did you, <laughs> you, you right? Yeah, Duluth. You need Duluth. Socks. If they advertise socks, I'm copping. They do got socks. Oh, they don't do Duluth socks. Probably oh like $40, yeah, that's right. Bro. He had the one with the like. What didn't that guy have the one where he like pressed the button and his socks warmed up? Or something? Oh, I thought like an alligator bit his foot and the alligator broke oh, his it teeth. Went- <laughs> Leg. Oh, I don't remember. It was something. I don't remember. Um, <laughs> I will say this. Like, what you're talking about, like, with your guys' case, I've seen the pictures online. Everything in there is super expensive. Does that make heat? No. No, no, no. Price no. alone does not. No. Nah. But okay. if you have, I've said that before a million times, if you have a combination of things and it's a shoe that is desired, that desire adds on top of it. I don't think so. It's not just the, there's a lot of shoes that are like um, fragment okay. threes. It's fragment well, that was threes. What I was just gonna, hold on, take a step back because that's what I was going to say. Now people on StockX or StockX themselves tank the prices of frag threes today because they did fifty percent off seller fees. That shoe eventually will be a one thousand dollar shoe. It's white and black, Facts. and I open the box I agree. and it sucks. We have a pair. Like it doesn't. That's a shoe that sucks, but doesn't suck. But I'm not going to put it on my list because it's boring. It. Like, would you wear it? Yes. But is are you like, oh, my God. No. People are like that about no, a lot of things. There are some people, but no. Like, imagine the now, dunk that you've sold. Now, there are no, people looking no, no. at the dunk that you've sold no. and are going like this. Oh, oh yeah. my God. This you guy right. has. That's why they're buying <laughs> This guy has costume blues. This George is the greatest of all time. I woke up this morning. Um, Slayers sold and Chrome Balls sold. <laughs> woke up this morning. Fam. I think I bought Slayers for like $48. Okay. No, no, no. That was, that was a collab shoe. What? Bro- Brooklyn Projects. Yes. Rain and Blood. No, you didn't. Oh, I had cigars. Never mind. And I paid a no, lot more for you that. Didn't. Yeah, I was gonna say cigars. You didn't. I paid. Yeah, I paid more for cigars. I paid more cigar. I think I sold them for like seventy five dollars. I sold cigars too. I don't know when. I think it was a couple months ago, probably. But cigars sold too. Look, heat to me. No, no. Let me give you the best example. Okay. Tom Sachs. Oh. Okay. Tom Nutsack. Okay. No, no. That's not the best example of how people can disagree on a shoe. Fine. You What's think those are heat? Yeah. So uh, that's the point. You think what, those are heat too? What do you say? You think they heat? I don't even know what shoe that is. Tom Sachs, the brown. The, the space shoe. The space one? Not the boot. Not the boot. Remember him with the, the bag boot over it? Fam, come on. Blanking heavy right here. Tom here, Sachs. Blanking heavy. Look. When you see it, you're going to... Yeah, when you, you see it, you'll be like, oh, shoot. Mars Yard. Mars okay, Yard. Yes, Mars Yard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, Look. there. When you use that term, yes. Do you think those are fire? The only thing I'll no. pull up is okay. kid shoe. They're not fire. They're perfectly fine. Sneaker. Yes. Those no. are perfectly fine. But they're it's fire to but me. the problem with that shoe is, is that it's overvalued. It's Yeah, but that's way exactly overvalued. that's why we're talking about this. Is like that's a shoe where the value doesn't add to the fireness. It's just a fire <laughs> shoe to me. And I can yes, see this is a true word. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. But I can see the value of like in a union one. I could see like man, I could see why. There's, There's a, how many people disagree with that being a fire shoe though? Like a lot. Point one percent? No, they don't. It's quite a bit. I don't think not. so. Point one percent or something like yeah, it's hard, on. right? It's hard to disagree with like a one for one thing, that, and listen, then being a union in that color combo. Like they made that was a flawless shoe. There's I don't I don't see one. I don't think there's one critique that would hold up against that shoe. Uh, the, there, it's not a three thousand dollars shoe because I don't think any shoe's a three thousand dollars shoe. But 
<laughs> I'm dead serious. I don't think there's one flaw about that shoe. They executed the whole... Now, the clothes that came with it sucked. But These clothes for the fours was fire, though. Yeah, they're pretty good. They were fire. But Not pretty there good. Was fire. Heat. <laughs> They heat, the clothes were heat. Fam. Like the hands? The hands were fire. fire. Really? You, know, you were reaching to the heavens. Like, like the hands? I, you didn't no like that way. one? No way. I thought the pants were fire. I thought the shirt was fire. I I actually hit my notifications for that stuff, though, even though I'm not trying on sneakers. But the clothes were fire. Huh? Way better. Huh? Look at you making your list. Huh? you right. I told you I'm going to be sitting here doing it the whole time. What else you got recently, Johnny? That's it. I mean, That's honestly, it? I really don't try to cop too much. Dang. Yeah. Look at you, though. You always got Yeezys on, though. That's it. I always wear Yeezys because I'm on my feet every single day. So it's all about comfort. George, what you pick up? What did I say last week? <laughs> I don't know. You bought everything this week. See. So... Somebody tried to try. Somebody tried to try me too in the comments. Huh? They said that Greg said George don't buy heat. I said no, no, no. I said George doesn't keep heat. They said yeah, George is buying. Nah. All, someone said George is buying all the heat, and Greg out here buying vans and stuff now. They were like the tables have turned. I was like, okay, settle down. All right. I don't know what that means, but because <laughs> you've been buying everything, you've got every single dunk that's just recently in the last two weeks. You got Spartans nah, and nah, you got Michigans. Huh? Oh, you mean the dunk, two dunk high? Well, Hannah won. Hannah got fam early she, access. She's your wife. You got them. All right. You got those. You got Metacoms. You got yes. two nine nine two nine New Balance whatevers. Mm-hmm. You got uh, what else? You got? Um, I don't. I don't remember if we said it on the show, but I won two fragments. I don't know. I got two we, fragment threes. <laughs> did we talk about that? Or no, no, we didn't. Okay, and then I got both dunk highs. Well, Hannah got one. I got the other one from Manners. Um, raffle um, and then 992's uh, you want to say who got him for us or is he not you can say shout out to Rick or? okay Rick Flair shout out to Rick Flair with the plug on the uh, New Balance I got Maroon and USA Gray I guess that's what they're called USA Gray I didn't know they were called that and then I checked out the white pair myself the Nimbus Cloud or whatever wait a minute how many those 992's you get fire. three <laughs> fam what I thought those were the Nimbus in the picture that's the white one. Yeah, it is. Oh, it is. That's oh, not the okay. one he got me. That's the, those are the two I checked out. So the one maroon that I paid regular price is going back, and then he got me two on his plug. Oh, okay. Yeah, I copped zero sneakers. Okay, none. But I did get PlayStation Five. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you didn't get it yet, but you, you know pre-ordered what I mean. reserved it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna put it. At least you got lucky on that because I heard that release was wild, worse than a sneaker release. Got a little bit more than lucky. It kind of depends on, <laughs> I think it depends on which one you went for out of the two and which store. So Walmart was the first one that dropped. And the link, like, you know, the sneaker accounts that yeah, yeah. T- uh, tweet everything like, you know, this is live, this is live. When you click on the link from Soul Links or whoever did it, it was like dead already. So most people just assumed it sold out. They kept restocking them. So the first thing I actually checked out was the controller. Because I was like, well, controller, if it's pre-order, it'll probably flip, too. So, Because I don't, I don't care about PS5. I'm trying to flip PS5. <laughs> I mean, if I make enough money selling the ones I got to keep one for free, then, yeah, I'll do that. But, but Walmart, so at first it looked like the more expensive one sold out, whichever that was, 500 right? Yeah. And then on all the releases that came after that, the digital one is the one that flew first, like Amazon, Target, Best Buy, whatever. So... The digital one was hard to cop the later the day went on. And then some of the sites, the $500 one just kind of sat like not long, but you know, half an hour, something like that. Um, but I'm kind of interested to, to see what happens because I don't, you didn't get one from Amazon or did you get one from Amazon? Mm-mm. But you saw the email they sent, right? Mm-hmm. That says like yeah. all these might not be shipped the first day or yeah. whatever. So we'll see what happens. I've seen a lot of speculation where people are like, they're just did a bunch of pre-orders to see how many numbers will be units will be ordered, and people might get them like throughout the year or whatever instead of getting them all at the beginning. So you, you being a gamer, why would anybody buy the digital system just to like not have the games? I, yeah, I mean, you you really don't need the games anymore. Just, yeah, honestly, just stream. I mean, do the systems have that much space on them? No, but you that's have to exactly. Get the space, but you have to get. The I space. thought the people would want the five hundred dollar one, but I think honestly, like the hundred dollars makes a big difference to people. I don't know why when you're spending that much think money. So, I don't see no other reason on Twitter why people are like, I want this one over this one. I think it's literally the price. It's see, like I, if I can save a hundred, I can buy a game and a controller or like a game or whatever. You know what I mean? See, so. I think the digital is for like us. We don't play that often. Like the the, the digital had. Right. See, the the standard had 
a terabyte, and the digital yeah, one on had, board, right? and the digital had like I don't know. It probably just has enough to download a game so you can play it, but then you probably I'm sure you got to delete some stuff to like. Download I don't another know. Game. Yeah, but that's even the terabyte's not enough memory. Like, oh yeah, God, the games Warzone's are huge. doing an update every yeah. two weeks is what it seems like, yeah. and it's like it's 500 gigs like every time, yeah. and you're like, what the hell? Like that's half my. My storage drive. So I, I, play, I play on a PC, so I have multiple storage drives. Oh, yeah. So it's not it's not a big thing for me. Because but. once I saw them selling the the uh, the little expanded memory on the side, whatever, yeah. and I was like, oh shit, I'm definitely not buying this digital one. Uh, but I mean, even for the terabyte I have, just to put the videos. Oh, they're the selling like hard feels drives. Like, yeah, separately? the hard drives, good, ninety two bucks. So that's why I was like, people are buying it. I mean, they, real gamers. Yeah, but that's been a thing. I mean, even Xbox has yeah, like they have their own. Yeah, they have yeah. their own thing. But so, I, mean, I don't remember it being an option up front though. Like the Xbox, just the first one, just didn't come with nothing. Right. And then they finally came out with like whatever it was. That brand. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the one Seagate. with the on Seagate. Board. That's Seagate. what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. But you, but they had the hard drive. You actually had to like connect. But yeah, you remember that? that's the on the 360. Yeah. That was like you had to put it on top. Like extra hard drive. It wasn't really? like no oh. plug in USB. It would like clicked into the thing. Oh, see, I don't yeah. remember that. You remember I remember that. Just, you had to like push the little button, take the whole top off, and then switch it for like oh, the, nah. the 500 gig. I whatever. knew homies yeah. at the hip hop shop that used to do that. They used to be like, yo, we get you old school Nintendo games on Xbox 2. They used to do all that type of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it was the hip hop shop. What do you want me to I do? mean, computer emulators have been around forever. Like, I remember playing Excite Bike on a computer when I was in college. Like, the, I mean, it's, you download that program and download any of the old Nintendo games. You don't need to put it on a Xbox or whatever. Yeah. You was in college doing that. Uh, <laughs> um, I got this kid's baseball LA shirt at the drop, which was extremely easy to buy, which I don't know if I thought it was going to be hard. But which one did you get? The, just oh, the Dodgers the t-shirt with the big ring in the middle. I went for the crew neck first. I didn't go for it, but I went to go look at it, and I saw how much it was, and I was like, I can't do that for how a Dodgers thing. Like 168, I think. Oh, but, so maybe they're, maybe they're not reselling for very much over retail then, because all the prices I saw for hoodies or anything was like 260 or more. Yeah, they were like the retail, shorts were like 300. They were retail. Like now the shorts only costed like I think maybe 130. All right. Mm, well, that's where everybody's making their money. Now. And I think everybody went for the Yankee stuff first. Buying championship mm-hmm. Dodger stuff right now is like mm, <laughs> we get there, <laughs> we don't win. So like Yankee has like a much more rich history of like winning than the Dodgers do, but even though the Yankees haven't won recently, so but the Yankee stuff was fire, huh? and I just can't I can't get myself to pay for a sports team stuff that high of money. Like, listen, the one the only thing Yankees that I'm gonna say was fire was the pinstripe, pinstripe hoodie, hoodie because they executed that perfectly. That's the only thing where you can look and you can say that's explicitly Yankees and no other team you can do right. that for. Even though some teams have their own pinstripe jerseys, which is why I felt like with the Dodgers one they messed up. They put the LA in there and then they did that split half in blue. They should have did the Los Angeles. Across it, they did something. one in cursive. Mm-hmm. They had a shirt though had cursive on it. I don't know if it was a hoodie or what, but they had one that had the cursive either at Los Angeles or Dodgers on it. They did. Uh, I, I, I again, I don't know if it was any good, but th- they had one. Uh, I bought like four or five hats. I don't know, man. I just kind of lost track of them. Um, you really rock hats like that, fam? I got about forty DS hats and you now. Wearing an old really? hat right now. This one is kind of old. This one is one of my ones I have for a while. Shout out to Kill the Hype. Fam, I love hats. And people, fam, let me tell you about the podcast. People that be like, yo, y'all talk about hats on the podcast. Fam, our entire fit is hats on this podcast. That's part of our uniform on this. We talk about sneakers. You'd have no idea if we're actually wearing sneakers right now. We could be wearing barefoot. We could be wearing flip-flops. And we talk about sneakers all day. The one thing you see on camera with us is our hats. Uh, and, yo, and all you geeks oh. that keep messaging me, that nonsense. Fam, I posted that video. Shout out to Ruby. Ruby sent me that video about what hats to wear in the right hoods. And you get pressed. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. People act just like kids. I'm not even joking. One cat was like, fam, I you got he goes this is what he said he goes yo y'all if y'all getting pressed for what hats y'all wearing in the hoods y'all y'all clowns and I was like why are we he said man I slapped the soul out of anybody pressed me by my hat <laughs> I said slap the soul I said you sound like my child though when I, Cortez be like oh someone breaks in my house I do karate on him <laughs> I'm like no you won't <laughs> no you won't fam there are three types of being George have you ever been pressed before you've been pressed you had to be pressed before uh yeah in high school you know what's funny is in high school, it happened in a mall, and I didn't even actually realize it in the moment until, like, a couple seconds later, I was walking away, and my friends were like, 
You know they were just gang. They just banged on you, over there, right? <laughs> Banging on me, do I look like a gang member? Like, what are you talking about? That's happened a few times. Uh, you, you've been pressed before, right? Not over a hat. I don't wear a Not hat. a hat, but yeah. like, I mean, just in general. Yeah, I don't I'm even impressed. know if I had any blue on. I don't, I don't even remember what I was wearing that day, but I, we were in the city where like a lot of bloods live, and he was like, What's up, Mac 10? And I was like, I didn't even react. I just kept walking. But it was three bloods. He ran. It was, like, <laughs> it was like me and one friend or two friends and three bloods, and he said that. And I was like, After he said it, like, it took me a second. I was like, Why is he saying that to me? Do I look like I'm. <laughs> it don't matter about looking though. You know what you was though It don't even matter about looking Fam I've been pressed over stuff Other people did Stuff I've done Hats, clothes, shirts, sneakers, shoes I've been pressed over everything There are three type of press That you never forget Being pressed When you go on vacation There's nothing worse Than being pressed in somebody else's town And you had no idea no, all right. I remember we went to Chicago Right We were distraught Went to Chicago <laughs> No our family came to Chicago Distra- Came here from Chicago Right And this was the, like The T.I. Jeezy era so this is like when like we was wearing hats like this, you know, hats. We were like this everywhere, you know, we were doing all that. <laughs> yeah. You remember that era? So like when I, our family came from Chicago, they were like, fam, you wear your hat like that out here? I was like, man, it's Arizona, man. Nobody tripping. And they were like, you come to Chicago, you ain't doing that. And I was like, we were like, all right. I remember me and Willis, <laughs> when we went to Chicago, we debated. We said, do we bring hats? Because we were like, ah, we want to buy. We got fresh haircuts. We'll bring the hats. So we were like, just keep the hat straight. We good. I mean, we went to the mall, right? This, the whole trip was wild because me and Willis had bought a, a grip of money to buy Iceberg clothes. I don't know if you remember Iceberg. You too young. Fam, you know how young this guy is? I'm not even going to say. This guy's <laughs> young, though. <laughs> I thought he was already. Yo, compared to y'all, I'm a little young. But <laughs> young. I'm not young. Well, we'll talk about sure. that later. So I said, <laughs> so now this is what's crazy, right? This is back in era, PayPal era. Let me tell you, we got about PayPal and eBay. PayPal and eBay had first came around after a while. You had to, we, when you were young, you didn't have credit cards, you had to use money orders. So we was buying all this iceberg off eBay. Now, we had no idea. This is Arizona. We had, there's no place that sold iceberg out here, right? So we thought all the iceberg we was when we thought it was authentic. It was fake. We had no idea until we went to Chicago, right? We go to Chicago, we in the, we in the mall with our hats on, straight. We're just amazed at how many black people work tomorrow. We're like, damn, look at these black people. <laughs> so we go to Chicago. We go in this store, right? <laughs> this store. And we brought all this money to cop more iceberg, right? We go in the store. We see all the iceberg we're wearing. I was like, yo, this, this this isn't the same as the shirt we're wearing. I was like, this one is much more soft material. And it cost about $85 more than what we paid for this, fam. We was distraught. I'm talking. We walked out the store like this, fam. We took our hats <laughs> off. This is what happened. This is what we messed up. Took my, I walked out the store like, fam. We was like this. Yo. <laughs> We've been walking around wearing fakes. We were like, nobody in Arizona knows this, though. We was like this, man. So then we walked out. I was like, man, we got to spend all our money that we planned on buying new iceberg to rebuy the iceberg we, re- we thought we owned so we were walking through the mall and i went like this walking right like this i'm walking it wasn't even a a, a a regular cat it was mall security right i'm walking somebody goes hey he goes hey yo and i was like what he was like turn your head around now and I said, what? He said, you know what? Get the hell out of my mom. Get the <laughs> hell out of here, you, you dog. He was yelling at me, right? And I was like, what else are we leaving anyway? He was like, you right, you leaving. Get out of that small. <laughs> Lost his mind on me, nah. That's one of the worst, getting pressed in somewhere you don't know. Being pressed, sorry, real quick. Being pressed somewhere you don't expect to be pressed. I got pressed in Scottsdale McDowell Road at Jamba Juice. <laughs> Facts, do it over a White Sox hat. Wear a White Sox hat, they think you sell cocaine sometimes, right? A lot of people don't know that. I'm in Jamba Juice, uh, fam. Fam, I'm trying to give me a strawberry surf rider, all right? <laughs> I'm sitting there debating. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm trying to debate, and I've been pressed in the Compton for what, Cincinnati Red Test. I've been pressed to everywhere. When you guys do Compton's I, different though. Compton, you could be on one street corner and go to another street corner, go to another street corner with oh, like facts. one now, square that, mile. Now, that was my fault when I got pressed in Compton because I figured I ain't been in so long. I'm like, yo, fashion changed, man. I can wear a Sister Daddy Reds hat. They ain't tripping over that no more, are they? Fam, I wore a Sister Daddy Reds hat. They was like, who do you know? <laughs> I said, I said, what? I said, they said, you remember that park, right? I just started just rambling, huh? Anyways, I got pressed that Jamba Juice to, over my White Sox hat. Uh, and this was here in Arizona. By an employee or by who? By an unsavory young fella, all unsavory right? Unsavory young fella. He was in line in front of me. He looked over his shoulder. He was like, you know what you're doing? I said, know what I'm doing? I said, man, I'm about to get me a... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, you better tell him your order. I'm not talking about give me a. You know, I'm trying to debate. No debate between a razzmatazz and a strawberry surf rider. He said, "You come up." He said, "Wait, were you getting smart?" And I was like, "Oh my god!" When somebody say that, I was like, "Oh my god, am I getting smart?" I looked. Now, there's a difference too. Even if you could beat up your presser. You don't because you don't want no problems the rest of the year, fam. You're going to run into these cats again. I looked at this cat like, oh, my God, I could dump him on his head. The entire store was silent, huh? I looked outside. About 15 dudes and like a El Dorado or something. Dude. They were like this, looking. <laughs> I was like, oh. I said, look, man, yep. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I said, I came here to add a, a energy boost to my Jamba <laughs> Juice. I ain't got time for this stuff. And we just stared at each other. No joke. It felt like in eternity we just stared at each other and he just walked out, didn't order his drink or nothing he walked out he did a few of these <laughs> he got in the car and I was like dude and that was it uh. did you get that razzmatazz or? of course I did <laughs> <laughs> I needed it uh. I needed it I needed yeah, that and I energy on. I said yo fam yeah, exactly. I said make it a double yeah. B <laughs> make now, now get that quick though cause he might come back <laughs> make it a double at Jamba Juice the people who should have been worried were the employees in there he come you in know what's funny is they were silent but they were still ringing up the register all you can hear it was so quiet all you can hear you can hear the drawer pop out I was like oh my god anyway what come out this week Joel George. Hey, you know I'm making my list here. Come on, Doug George. High I got it then. Doug High Michigan's. And by Coppin, yeah, one o'clock. I put a raffle ticket in. We'll see if I get a phone call here in an hour. Would you keep? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, but if, but, but uh, this doesn't come out till after uh, the pickup tomorrow. So, Andrew <laughs> won't know that. Um, Green Spartans came out with last week or this week? Last, last week, yeah. Oh, okay. I think they just started arriving. You haven't uh, been buying no dunks? Mm-mm. Oh, okay. I mean, for the story, yeah, but not for myself. Oh, okay. Do you wear Nike at all anymore? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you always got Yeezys on. That, I've never seen you nothing else with Yeezys. All comfort. That's all it is. Oh. Those uh, Zooms, I might cop those, those Zoom Jordan 1s, though. A little insole with a little gel. So, with, the, with the green ones? The green ones or the, um, the platinum with the gray ones. Are oh, okay. Wait, what is it? The, so zoom, the, the ones that Jordan Andy ones. got, them green. Yeah, those with oh, the Zoom gray, Air. Gray Zoom, green Zoom. Or oh, I did jump out the, like, um, Space pack. What's the or what's that one? What's it called? I don't know. What's the pack? That uh, trash pack. What's oh, the space hippies. Space hippies. Oh, space, hippies. Oh. Oh, all right. space hippie comes out this week. Yeah. Supposedly trash. I, th- I think that's washed now. Uh, JJ Watt. Question. <laughs> that Co- comes out this week. You copy? Man, if you don't stop it, I think it, you might have got early access. Which are uh, Sam. No, uh, you a question person. I don't know how many tributes you can make with the <laughs> Iverson question. <laughs> I get it. Unlimited, B. I get it. J.J. Watt comes out with a shoe and they make it a question. I get it. <laughs> Iverson was with Reebok. I get it. No. All right. You would think J.J. Watt has never accomplished nothing in his life. Let's turn your shoe into a basketball <laughs> shoe. You play football. He doesn't. Let's do that. Um, Green 13s come out. I think they're fire. I think they're. I like them. I like them yeah. a lot. I like 13s though. So it's, it's love 13s. Yeah, 13s in any kind of color combo is pretty fire to me. So I like the I oranges that's coming out soon. What's it called? Starfish? That colorway? They come out January? A 13? Yeah. Oh. Fire. Phoenix Suns PE? Uh, basically. Bubble, I mean, Bubble Sun PE? Um, not you, Bubble. Spacehead. I mean, not Spacehead. Uh, hippie Trash comes out. I went to the Arrowhead Mall. I went to the mall for the first time since. Everything happened, what, two weeks ago? Those hippie things were sitting in every single store. What do you yeah. mean everything happened? Pandemic, whatever. Oh. Like, I haven't been in the mall ever since anything. Oh, you said two weeks. I thought you were talking about something Two else. weeks ago, I went to the mall, and I saw hippies everywhere. Like, in all the stores had so, them. What did you think, though, when you seen them? You like them? I like them, but I don't... Wait, wait, wait. What, what did they have? They, they had, had the one that comes out this week. They had this? They had that one. And what's the other one? Did they have the old one? Because you should have bought Maybe. it. Maybe. Man, you tripping. Man, bought it for you. It was a women's shoe, ain't it? They come in your size. Not the old one. Oh, well, they had them at finish line in the women's section. So, I don't know. And I was, they had them at Foot Locker, too. So yeah, I'm just not a fan of that shoe. None of them? I don't like, like the fake boost it has in the, in the see, middle. Like, See, I like them, but I don't want to pay retail for them. Well, this shoe right here doesn't have the, the tech. In the it. React. Yeah, maybe it is React. Yeah, it's but whatever react. the new foam is. This doesn't have it. It's only the other three. Oh, okay. Eh, they are. That's it. why uh, Curtis said that it's not comfortable because it doesn't have that in there. I mean, I'm sure that's not the only reason, but. um, I don't know what else comes out this week. I don't think a Yeezy drops this week, right? There's a I bunch of like. Kobe Fives, right? Those, uh, oh, PJ Tucker. Tuckers. Man, I'll stop. I didn't even. I'm surprised nobody yesterday was talking about because normally whenever there's one of those early access things, those yeah. tweak, uh, tweakers, Twitter accounts are like. 
Look out tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. yeah. But I didn't hear any of that. Then I woke up today and Andy's like, got him. I what? thought Andy was joking. I thought he made that. <laughs> I was like, I haven't seen one person with this PJ Tucker got him sneaker thing. He was the only one. And I was like, okay, he clearly made this or found this somewhere. And I even went back there. through the tweets. I didn't see any sneaker tweets of people saying early access, whatever. Nah, mm-hmm. man. I can't do it. Huh? Even if I was trying right now on sneakers, I wouldn't try for that one. No. Yeah, you wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. No. Yeah, you, why you Damn, wouldn't? I refuse to try for a PJ Tucker PJ. Fam, you know how many shoes you bought and not told anyone about and then like silently sold it or traded it or something? Or something? Wow. Silently? Oh, what are secrets you, coming what out. What are you? Yes. <laughs> Don't do that. You didn't. When was what, the first time you told us you had two black cars? That was uh, at the end of last later? year. No. That was the end two of last year. Two years later year. and you didn't tell us you traded one for something? Mm-hmm. I know. I told you I traded one for OG. Off white presto, yeah, and, and then, then, then the other like, one. And I then just, you were like, oh, kind of had for a while. Yeah, you said, see? <laughs> Anyways, see? you didn't know I had Travis Scott wings. I don't even know what that is. Travis Scott oh, we just wings? talked about. I mean, Jeremy Scott wings. Oh, Sorry. yeah, but why would anyone care about that? Show? You used to have the Jeremy Scott with the bones across it I and the monkey the bones head. Bones and monkey I didn't head. have the monkey one. I had gorilla. I think the gorilla. Oh, oh no, head. panda. Oh yeah, he had a panda head. He used to wear them everywhere. They suck. Yeah, we used to go camping out. He used to have them. The worst shoe. Imagine I should have put it that. on my suck. This don't suck. They no, no, suck. Those suck. All right, they don't don't suck. They suck one hundred percent. Were you done? Because there's still other stuff that comes out. What else? Women's Jordan Six. Oh, that like grayish Te- Te- chrome one. Eh. Um, denim, Denham Company ninety five uh, and maybe ninety. What was the other one? A ninety. I didn't know they had a ninety five until I saw it on Goat. And the ninety five is okay. The ninety is right. swag. Um, Lego ZX eight thousand. No, that should have been strictly Five kids. So. Kid. I got early access to Toy Story. Donovan Mitchell's today on the day. Donovan Mitchell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, his uh, Spider Basketball. Utah. Shit. I'm like who? Um, Casino Dunk. Even though I haven't heard anything about the like. How do you get those? <laughs> The I'm, blue assume, one or the, I'm assuming this one's worldwide. This is the one that's on the Okay. List. Somebody asked me, I don't know how do you get them? I said, I don't know. Uh, we just do a podcast. <laughs> I have <laughs> no idea. I don't know how you get the other one because the date was supposedly was the 18th, but there's only like seven pairs total on StockX, which uh, even if it's only in Korea, you'd think they would get on StockX somehow. I mean, Damn, I have no idea how to get I haven't seen a raffle. Does I haven't Korea seen have his own resale site. <laughs> Uh, Maybe they all just uh, still sit in the store. You just got to go to Korea to get one. Who got the hit up Jay? Uh, see if we catch a flight. <laughs> uh, you already talked about PJ Tucker. Um, there's a Bodega 997 coming out. New Balance? No? You don't care? Nah. All right. Um, what else? That's it. Nope. Um, <laughs> double Taps. Is Double right? tap. Somebody right? told us what it means. Is that right? W T A P S vans. A- we S- thought they were WAPs, right? Uh, right yeah. <laughs> I did. Whoa. You thought it was Cardi B. Whoa, whoa. We did. Yeah. We, I we thought we were w- WAPs. You don't act like you never said it too. I just spelled it out. Okay. Or say W taps. Don't do W taps. But then, but then, Skate also inboxed me and said, "Just say dub taps." And I was like, "Okay, I mean, I guess that makes sense too." But somebody told us double tap like shooting, like pow pow. I, I mean, that makes sense too. Right. Why the other? He said when he was in Tokyo, <laughs> he said he was there in Tokyo. He said, "Yo, what are these called?" And they said, "Dub taps, double taps." So yeah, that's what I told taps. Skate that story. Uh, but so oh. those come out orange and black bones, fire, fire, uh, absolute fire. And you need to stop complaining about the Probably weirdest things on sneakers. Uh, uh, you look on the back of a sneaker and be like, "Oh, look at the edge. Oh, the edge of what? <laughs> the rubber?" He said the most zoomed in pick. Ever of the back of Man, a van. If you don't think that looks weird, something wrong with you. Looks weird to who? <laughs> like to me. That's what I'm asking. Man, they on it, your it feet. Look weird. Or no? no, it doesn't. Okay. I don't think I've ever come across a van that I thought was like, ooh, look at the edge of the rubber. <laughs> no, you don't. It I'm just not, sounds it just, weird. The, <laughs> the shape of the shoe is not right. Stop. It has nothing to do with the edge of the rubber. All right, look at this. Don't do it. Don't look, look at it. The sole. It goes down. Oh, I get, I get and what he's saying. You I get see what I'm saying? saying? Yeah, like, yeah. why does it not just straight down? I don't understand that. It looks like the whole thing, like the it's, does the shape doesn't match. Fam, I got Sakai's. All right, Sakai waffles. All right, look at the that. The sole is out of why, control. I mean, why is it? I get that it. That looks like a bumper. It, it looks like, like extra rubber. I mean, like, like, like it's a lip kit. They got a lip kit. On yeah, there. like what? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's a steel toe. They got a steel toe on the inside, so they couldn't put body as much kit. Um, ouch, ouch sole on there. I wish body kits and Fast and Furious cars were like, still in. Well, you, well, it still is in. What? 
Yo, Fast and Furious is my favorite movie of all time. I'll I love Fast and Furious, movie. but our body kits on cars and stuff. Still, I tell you yeah, what, still they go to space in the next episode. That's where I stop watching. Whoa, okay. Well, they're okay. going to space, so I just I, I, I want to know could, how they you get could, there. You could tell me about it because in my mind, what are you it's talking sh- about he gonna drive a, a, a you right a Nova off a ramp. I'm pretty sure they're gonna put the cars on side Tesla Roadster. It's gotta be yeah. I'm the I guarantee it's gonna be one of the Tesla trucks somehow in space. They pretty much you have. A truck before a Tesla truck existed. I can't imagine. They've been driving them trucks that look like that since like three episodes now. I can't imagine them going to space and not landing on the moon. Like, they got to land somewhere. What's the point of going up there? Like, there's only two reasons to go up there to like, to to (laughs) rewire a satellite. Like, Ludacris got to go up there and rewire a satellite. <laughs> yes, or they the got to go to the moon. The number one software engineer in the world, Ludacris from... <laughs> fam, me and Rosie were talking about it. Me and my wife was talking about it. And I said, fam, they went from just street racing in California to becoming actual... They've, they've all got bodies. They've all shot people. Well, <laughs> the all, one thing that I'll say is at least in the first episode, it just wasn't only street racing. Episode? They still was doing... Like crime stuff, so at least that's always yeah. Been but they like were the criminals. I understand. Now that. they're heroes. I'm just saying, like, man, they've saved Earth. Like they didn't just save California; they've <laughs> saved the world twice in one of these things. They went and got the God's eye in one of them because that could if somebody would got their hands on the God's eye, they would have took over the world. So they drove around the city and whatever. The one Monster. where they drove, they drove next to a submarine because the nuclear sub was about to like go get everybody. Yeah, the dumbest. The end of the part of that movie is that one of the dumbest scenes in movie history where they like jump. The submarine or whatever. Fam, that was fire. <laughs> I haven't even seen it. That's just it, you it asked at the beginning like of the five, show. <laughs> it lost me after you five. asked at the beginning of the show what's fire and what's not fire and why people certain people would think, fam, that's not fire. Not fire. Driving a Lamborghini next to a submarine. The movie overall entertaining fire. That scene not fire. Jumping out of one building in Dubai, landing in another, then landing in another building. Fam, that's fire. That that scene was sick. The that, tank, the tank sick, thing man. from like the third episode or whatever, fourth episode. Uh, I was like, man, what? He jumped or she jumped off the tank, going opposite directions on the freeway or whatever. Jumped off the tank. Oh, and that landed was on fire. Huh? What? Now look. It was fire, <laughs> but she had no training to do that. It was Letty. Nope. Letty had no training I'm in not, doing nope. stuff like that. I'm done with you. All right, all right, all right. I'm done, I'm done with you. Uh, let's talk mini worlds. Yes. Well, yeah, I mean, you've got to start with, like, what was the, this word is going to sound weird, but what was the impetus to do a clothing brand from Rejuvenator to that? Like, how, what was the connection? Yeah, how did this all begin? Uh, it's Steve. Steve's always wanted to have a sneaker store, essentially, so... Many Worlds is a sister company of Rejuvenator. But it's I thought it was a brand more than it anything. It is a brand. Yeah, so Many Worlds is a brand, and that's how we're trying to... We're not trying to just be a sneaker store, I guess you would say, right? We're trying to be apparel. We just sell sneakers. Like Okay, so know. his original thing was the shoe was number one over the brand, basically. The clothes. I mean, the clothes are the number one over the shoes. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So, like, we want to be a brand, right? Okay. We want, we want people to rock our merch and stuff like that. So we want to be known as a brand, but we also want to carry sneakers as well. That's okay. just within our culture. We don't want to just strictly be apparel. So like when y'all started, I'll tell you this. I, I feel like Mini Worlds came out of nowhere. Uh, like I had never, like I've drove by you guys' this place before. I've never, it just always is a black building. Like it never, mm-hmm. you know, whatever. But like I've never even heard like anybody talk about a store coming up. It just literally felt like it came out of nowhere. Then when it opened, and they get a line outside, and people were talking about, and inside the store, just from social media, I've never been. I know George ain't never been. The store looks fire, and every single person that talks about it says the store is incredible inside. It. it looks really, really good. Like yeah. the mini world on the ceiling and stuff like yeah. that. It's on its fire. But why now? Like during the pandemic? Like yeah. Well, we were actually supposed to open up back in April, believe it or not. So, like I said, we moved into that building last year. Last. January, I guess we bought that building and we own the entire complex. So from like corner to like a couple buildings over. So that was the opportunity to open up retail spot. Right. And many worlds became, well, many worlds has always been a conversation for a while now, which it was called something different before, but we couldn't call it the name because it was already taken, trademarked or whatever the case okay. may be. Oh, okay. So happens in business all yeah, the time. Yeah, so Many Worlds became the name, but we were supposed to open up back in April. Pandemic happened, pushed it back. We already had all our inventory. You know, everything was already set up. And then we just kept pushing it back month to month. Every month we just kept pushing it back, so we never promoted it. And then finally, 
um, in July, Steve was like, we got to open up in August. Like, we're sitting on cash, just burning cash here. You know, nothing's moving. So we're like, all right. We started pushing many roads on Rejuvenated's social media, and we opened up on August 8th. I would tell you this, like, Arizona is not a... How do I put this? We've seen a lot of places come and go in Arizona. For sure. Now, Rejuvenator is not going anywhere. I mean, Rejuvenator is a staple in, like, sneaker culture. Yeah, because they sell everywhere. They, just don't, Period. they don't, right. rely on Arizona. Period. So, like, I would say this. Like, seeing you guys open a store, I thought it was a little shocking. Like, and I'll, I'll, and just for example purposes, Manor. When Manor opened up, I'll be honest with you, two years. We'll give it. We'll give it some time. And that was only because they couldn't get what was hot at the time. This is when Boost was like, eh, I was like, man, you can't get no Boost. You can't get yeah. no stuff, man. Like, I don't know how long you can sell. Well, yeah, clear as, a, weather as a retail and store, it's like different that. because you're relying on a relationship with right. brands, but as right. a resale, resale. resale you right. Not. So, is that what you guys? So then that's why I was like, why why do that at all? Like I feel like Rejuvenator is doing phenomenally. I think it should be. I don't you know, I don't know the ins and outs. Yeah. But it's like why do that? Is it more of like a dream of Steve's or was it just yeah, like sure. a added thing to like hopefully open more stores? No, it's definitely a dream of Steve's, but we also wanna expand, right? We don't only wanna open up in Phoenix. Like we definitely wanna be in major cities, right? LA, Chicago, New York. I would love to be in Toronto. You know? Like that is my dream to move to Toronto and just why Toronto? I love Toronto, man. I love Toronto. I've been there three times for Sneaker Con. And I've never weathered. been. People love Toronto. I love Toronto. I couldn't get in, so. Yeah, they wouldn't even live <laughs> in the country, so. <laughs> the entire country didn't want me there. Wow. But, yeah, so, I mean, it, it is. it was, I mean, it still is a dream of Steve's to have a sneaker store, right? But, I mean, it's just another project for Steve to build on another company and just grow it. Is it going to expand from resale? Or is it consignment or just resale? No, we buy everything out. So we just, yeah, we don't consign anything. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, we, I mean, we still buy. Like, customers come through and buy and sell us shoes and we buy and stuff like that. But we don't consign anything. So with this, like, pandemic, wait, whatever's wait, hold on. happening. Brand new only or both? No, we take in used as well. Yeah, we take in used. I mean, we try to hit everyone, right? Like, like we literally have shoes from $5,000 down to 50 bucks. Like, we try to have everyone come. Like, we don't want to be... Like that store where like you can't come in and you can't find something you want to wear, you know what I mean? Like or can't afford. Like. So like when you guys opened up and we were talking about it in the thread and we were like, damn, this store looks fire. Like we have like multiple threads that me and George ran and we were talking about it, like, man, this store looks fire. And went to the website and stuff, because I remember you did the pre-order for the Phoenix shirt, the purple mm -hmm. one with the thing, and I was like, Ooh, the shirt's fire, and we just put in the thread, we were talking about it. And I was like, what the heck is this, a store? Now, in the store, you can see all these sneakers and stuff. And I went to the website, and it was no sneakers. So that's why yeah. I was like, oh, is this not uh, both, one or the other, or one's a priority? Yeah, so clothes is, or apparel is definitely a priority. Oh, okay. right? That's like our main, that's what we want to push. Um, not that we don't want to put sneakers online, because we will, you know? Oh, okay. It's just not at first, right? We have over 800 sneakers. Like, to take a picture of all 800 right. sneakers, post that on the website, it's just, it's a lot, you know? It's a lot. So... Right now, we just want to focus on apparel. We're going to be releasing our, our fall winter soon, so oh, good. we'll Some be releasing and crew next. Oh yeah, it's coming. So we'll be releasing in season. So like, I got a couple goodies for you guys, which I'll give it to you right now. But this is part of our, I guess you would say, our spring summer. And then once that's gone, it's gone. It's never coming back. Like the Phoenix shirt that you see in the purple and I guess gold or whatever you want to call it, orange. orange yeah, yeah. Um, it was strictly because. They were doing good in the bubble, obviously, right? Right. Like the suns were hot. I mean, it was it was a good time to make it. Yeah, it, but we made the initial one was black yeah, with the white phoenix. That one sold and out. That, that was gone. Like it was gone, and it's not coming back, right? But that's going to be a part of our like limited series. So like we'll have one like that probably in like a hoodie or a long sleeve. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like maybe, but we're not sure. It's just, but that's how we're going to be releasing. Like everything's going to be in a seasonal drop, and if you get it, great. If you don't. How's the store, like, doing this year with everything? Like, I think a lot of stores, like, they obviously, it's difficult right now. A little bit difficult. But, like, you guys have been doing good. It's been off to a good yeah, start. Surprisingly, like, I'm very shocked that the sneaker culture isn't hurting by it's not. the pandemic. So, so people Let me tell are, you what is hurting. Gap. Going out of business. Hat Club closing Scottsdale. <laughs> Fam, I am upset. I drove all the way there and couldn't even return what I had to return. I'm heated. <laughs> I'm not to change the subject. But so, like, y'all selling... A good amount of stuff moving like forward and, and expect to like continue to continue to grow. Yeah, for sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, we've only been up in six weeks and we probably sold 200 pairs. I think this year, oh, dang, really? Yeah. Dang, I think, you know what, like this year alone in like what some might consider the worst year ever, all right, 
Arizona has probably opened up about four stores, consignment shops, like throughout the valley. Like I think one opened up last week. I saw you posting yeah, it, it on Saturday. in Gilbert or something mm-hmm. like that. I'm like, yo, these shops are popping up at the craziest time right now. Uh, you got Many Worlds. You got that shop. What's it called? Like Common Hype. Common Hype. I think I saw like Phoenix Souls or Phoenix something. Phoenix Souls is right across. Phoenix the Souls. Like there so are. So wait, do y'all know all like these people in person, or I mean, yeah. maybe from shows or whatever? Yeah, y'all so, know these people personally. I mean, even though I'm young. Right, younger very, than y'all. Very um, young. What's the number, fam? Is it below 30? No, nah, I'm 30. Oh, I'm okay. 30. He's yeah. older than Ricardo? I think barely. Isn't Rico 20, 29? I oh, don't know. Rico, Rico. You said he's super young, so I'm just assuming like that. Fam, right, 30 right, is 25. young. Uh, you. Compared to y'all, 30 is young. That's the Compared ten, to me, ten, 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 he, he likes to different. say how much younger he is than me. Fam, I'm 38. Wait, oh. how old am I? I have, <laughs> I have 37. That's how old you are. You already forgot. I think I'm 37. 37. 37. About to be 38. Yeah, but. a simple favorite thing to do is make jokes about age. Really. Now he acting like he's an old man. Fam, I am old. My body feels weird. You better go uh, to the doctor. The doctor today was talking to me about some crazy stuff I never even considered before. You know? He was like, I want to do an EKG on you. <laughs> I was like, I've had man, plenty of EKGs. I understand bro. that. I'm just saying, like, oh, that's not the. How far are y'all away from checking your prostate? Well, that's the thing. He told me, he was like, <laughs> he was like, prostate is probably 50, but colon cancer screening is now. Like, hey. He put the glove on. He snapped it. <laughs> he about Yo, to snap it. That's why he came in with a yellow shirt. He came in bright. He, fe- he feels good today. If the first hey, listen, that's like you better take somebody out wine and dine them before you do that. <laughs> All right, that's not the first. <laughs> that's not the first doctor appointment. You better just explain be like, to me. I do it myself. Though. Give me the glove. Oh, I don't want him doing. Well, it, that's no. what it is. The I first explore. thing is just you got to submit a sample from inside your toilet. If you if you see what I'm I've done that before. Was, oh well, then you ahead of me then. I've been super sick, though. Dookie in a uh, it's not about uh, being sick. bag. Oh, little thing. what? You too young? No, you don't know nothing about what? that, fam. I have been <laughs> sick before in my life. Uh, I've been through it. <laughs> anyways, that's heavy. Talking. That's heavy. <laughs> that's but anyways, heavy. so um, with the rejuvenator, I mean, I've traveled all around, you know, the country going to sneaker cons. So I've met a lot of these people, like Brandon from the Common Hype. I met him when he was. He young, looks like, like he's 20 years, years old or yeah, 18. I mean, he's, still, he's probably like 22, 23. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I met like him four years ago at uh, Ben Hatho's like anniversary or like right. opening, you know what I mean? And him and his brother and, and their friends and everyone was young and they were just starting to vlog and stuff. So that's how I met them. And to see them grow is like super dope. Uh, Kyle from Phoenix Souls. I mean, he used to come to the Rejuvenator and buy a product from us. And then Edgar, I just honestly met Edgar. Um, this past year, but I've I've met somebody him said Phoenix year. Old Man is young too. Yeah, Kyle, like, he's super like young. 20, 21. So the, good lord. So what's the like? I know you guys have uh, the listen, like, man. I don't root against anybody. I hope y'all know what y'all doing. <laughs> Not you, them. If you twenty one <laughs> years old, twenty years old, and you on the store though. Well, hey, I give them props though. I give them props, but that's a hard doing, thing. Man. That's a hard thing with Arizona. So you guys have a good setup because you guys are backed by a shoe and mm-hmm. you guys have a structure of understanding of business. Right. That's where a lot of things went wrong in Arizona. Was a lot of people were making money way too fast and they didn't know how to use it responsibly. These are facts. Uh, now, well, like, the fu- okay. So since we obviously know we don't care about what happened with that flight pound the funniest part about the whole thing is his partner still owns stuff in la oh yeah and that's the one that like he's still kicking butt yeah that's he's the killing one. it yeah exactly but isn't that the one that he's one they of the drove through the door and stole the stuff or yeah, that was a different cool one kick. no no cool kicks Who owns that's not kicks? him so he, he's the other one. Oh, okay i don't know i don't know any of them other cats all right all i know is neighbor don't goofy all, right. <laughs> all i know um so I think I was gonna ask like I saw you guys had the bring your shoes in to clean mm-hmm. service thing. That been doing okay? Yeah, that's been great. Okay, I've yeah. always questioned services like that only because I never knew, and I think there was one in Tempe for a while. Might still be there. I don't know, like cleaners, whatever it's called. Um, and you drop your shoes off, and I said, man, who would actually do this? Like, does anybody do this? Well, that's what uh, what's the name does that that man. Like, what was the first company that had the big? Clean brand was it actually Jason Mark or was it someone else? As far as I remember, I think it was Jason Mark. He so did yeah, do that. he was the, was the one, and he just he has an only store to, in L. A. where you right. bring stuff in and clean it. I'm now like, that's sure. like OG status, so it's like I expect that. Damn, I'm gonna be honest. Jason Mark protectant does not work. Oh, it doesn't. I'm just be honest. Oh, no, spray, no, 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 fam. Fam, the cleaner doesn't work. I'm not even going to lie oh, to okay. you. Okay, well, I don't now, look, does that got nothing to do with it? I'm, I'm out <laughs> of it. got nothing to do with it. Me and George are right here. I'm just being fam, honest. Uh, fam, I had. I sprayed it on those. Uh, and let me tell you something. Marky, whatever. Uh, I'm uh, telling. That joint don't work. Look, I'm telling everybody on this podcast, we don't do and have nothing to do with Rejuvenator. But Rejuvenator is the only product that I actually use and it actually works. And that's because. When they came on the show before, they gave us some stuff, and it lasted a long time, and I use it. Facts. This has nothing to do with Rejuvenator. This ain't for nothing. This ain't for giant. This ain't for nothing. These are cold hard facts. Now, I ran out 
of Rejuvenator. So all I had was all these Jason Mark free samples of stuff. <laughs> Fam, that didn't clean a thing, all right? I used nothing. I right? It was whack. I was like, all right, well, clearly I'm not using Jason Mark anymore. Now I've never used anything else. Anyways, I will say this. When I saw the cleaning service thing, I was talking to Simple today. Simple was like, oh, he bought um, Kith. What are the Kiths called? Uh, Galakos, Greeks, whatever the ones I got. Mykonos. He bought those. He bought a size nine. Filth. E, all right, but for the price, it was like, dang, bought a low key a beater, uh, a Kith Mykonos, and I was like, you might as well take it to Mini World. <laughs> I was like, I would actually do that, and I said, dang, I guess that's why, that's a reason to use that. It's like you get a beater, like a low 100%. key beater for like, what's the charge for it? It depends. So like, we have prices starting at like twenty five bucks for like an essential clean, which is like, let's just say you have a. a Jordan 3, an all-leather shoe, right? right? That's not going to be hard yeah, to clean. Easy. You just do a little $25 clean. We give you a free pair of shoe trees and a nice dust bag, send you on your way. And typical turnaround times anywhere between two to three days. But, um, yeah, I mean, today someone dropped off a pair of Yeezy 2 Blats, like, to get done because they don't want to mess up their shoes. So what I like to tell people is, like, what you're saying, right? You buy a shoe for super cheap. You don't want to clean it. Right. Come bring it to us. We'll get it nice for you. And you go and resell it, make a couple bucks. Like, or you could come buy the kit. We'll show you how to do it. Like, we're we're not trying to just have you come in and let us clean your shoe. Like, if you want to clean it, we have over five hundred vid- videos on our YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, how like, far are you taking it though? You having like, if somebody sways stuff needs to be hit with the like metal brush. You having somebody in there repainting and stuff like that? Or uh, no? we don't do any repaints. Like, we don't do any restorations yet. But that is something that's coming uh, down the line. So we will be offering still- like like um, icing soles. You know, we'll be offering that. We'll be offering midsole repaints suede re-dyes like that is to come speaking of which those frag threes come with like a printed message or something on the midsole fam a midsole on jordan three is gonna crack in like mm-hmm. three wears or something like you got to <laughs> do jordan three still crack i have no idea i mean it's just paint yeah i, I think i think all midsoles are gonna crack eventually i don't it doesn't crack as hard but you'll definitely get a crack in there for sure well, I would tell you guys this. You Putting guys. that print on there. I was like, huh? And I'm definitely coming in the store, too. I just, hey, right now, it's just a little hard right now. <laughs> it's a little crazy out there. You, say but, that and you said two weeks ago you were in Foot Locker looking at. That yeah, was, yeah. City. No, and that's oh because my, I told my, you, me and you my. talked earlier. I said my son went back to school for <laughs> hybrid. So he wanted hats. some He wanted some Jordans. I did buy a hat, too. But he said he, <laughs> he said he wanted some Jordans. So I was like, all right, we'll go to the mall real quick. Went to Arrowhead, whatever. But the store online looks Phenomenal! Appreciate like that. it's one of the better looking stores, and I think it's a dope setup, and I think it's something good for a shoeinator can build off of, you know. And you're the manager of it. You've been rejuvenator forever, like yeah, almost five. I years. mean, I'll tell you, like when you look at rejuvenator videos and stuff, there's only two people: my Vic and you. You, know, yeah. you guys are like the face of it. Like everybody knows Steve from rejuvenator and stuff like that. He's been on the podcast a couple times or whatever, but you guys are like the face of it. So it's like a cool thing that you run it. Man, I, I nothing but the best for it, man. Like I think the clothes look phenomenal too. The Stonewash shirt, like yeah. I so, saw the shirts on there. On that, I'm gonna give you guys. So I think the items. the thing about it is the logo is not like uh, like a lot of people make their logos, and it's like, fam, what are you doing out here? Like that's just pl- simple. That's easy. the hard part of a brand. Yeah. Uh, you get Trust the logo me. right. Trust me, it's hard. So this is actually our split earth. So I guess in order to to explain it, I got to tell you what many worlds is right so many worlds basically is based on the quantum physics theory of like multiple realities or multiple worlds happening at the same time right so we took that concept into sneakers you can do it with anything hats right for example someone's probably rocking that same hat you're wearing today living an entirely different different life yeah today absolutely right and that's then that's how we see banging sneakers someone's banging someone (laughs) somebody just yeah exactly one hundred percent. someone got pressed wearing that hat (laughs) facts like this second exactly so that's that's where like it means something to me you know like someone's wearing their first pair of yeezys that i'm wearing today to their first job graduation they get married that's a cool concept yada yada so when i read it on the website I wasn't too sure about what it meant, but that's a cool understanding of it. Like, to yeah. just think, like, right now, what I'm wearing right now, it's probably somebody wearing this exact same shirt exactly. right now somewhere this very second doing God knows what. Uh, yeah. And that's a cool concept to think of. Yeah, uh, could be doing worse than you, could be doing better. You so, right. Huh? You know what I mean? Nobody doing better than Greg. Yeah. <laughs> that's not true. Everybody so, doing better than I'm going to let y'all choose. I brought one of each, and I don't even know if y'all rock snapbacks, but... Yeah, we do. We got the many worlds, all is possible. Whichever one right? George wants. And then this is our me. new one. This one just dropped literally on Saturday. So I will take this one then. All right. 
Appreciate yeah. it. I Hold appreciate on, this. Uh, and uh, and a new era too. I don't know if. Uh, oh, that was new era. See, this one is uh, Yupong. You know, I love Yupong. <laughs> Yupong makes our hats be. Mm. So I brought you that stone. Nice. And then I brought you the face mount. The stone wash ones are tight. Stone wash shirts are in, cat. I'm telling people, stone wash shirts are in. See, so oh, like, see, that one's fire too. The, the thing I like about this shirt right here is you. How did they so do you, the colors you in can between? Wear like a fire pair, of just since the shirt is kind of busy, you just wear like a fire plain color shoe. What's like the a fire shoe? shoe? That's all red. I'm What's saying, fire? Like, uh, What's nah, the fire shoe, though? <laughs> we already did that at the beginning. But you can just pick one of these colors and wear the shoe that's kind of simple to go with the shirt that's busy. You know what I mean? That's what I like doing. See, I don't think that shirt Appreciate is busy. Appreciate it. That shirt is fire. Of course. I appreciate y'all having me. No, no, no. When I saw that shirt me. on the website, I said, how do they put the colors in between there like that? What I'm saying is you're not going to, okay, to me, you're not going to wear this and then wear like Sean Witherspoon's with it. To me. Why not? You it might. got the colors? Yeah, to might. me. I'm not doing that. I will wear Sean Witherspoon's with this since it's just plain. Now, I'm not saying I'm wearing it with yellow, yellow, matchy, matchy. I'm saying busy shoe, plain shirt. Busy shirt, plain shoe. Yeah, That's but, always how I look Yeah, at. but Sean Witherspoon's aren't busy. Yes, it is. It's got a million colors on there. Stop. It has four. No, it has way more than that. You need to go home and look at your... Well, you don't probably don't have any more. You're you right. It. I saw it a long time ago. A long, long you time think, ago. You think you got more colors or less colors than... than uh, I was about to say clots. What are those ones you like with the thing that hangs off the back? <laughs> what? The shoe. Oh, Sakai's? You think you got more colors or less? Way more colors than Sakai's. Okay, so way Sakai more. has three colors. So four is way more? Okay. Five then. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out what you're talking about. Fam, whatever, fam. I don't got time for you right now. <laughs> well, shout out to Mini Worlds, man. I, I I hope you guys, you know, do whatever you guys set out to do, man. Appreciate I do it. want more and more stuff, man. I want to see the hoodies and crew necks and stuff like that. That's yeah, coming. That's coming in the next month. And like honestly. George said, the logos, man. Logo is key, man. The logo is key no, on this is everything. I, this reminds me of... Um, Scarface, the movie, a little bit. Didn't they uh, have the thing with the like world? Kind of the world, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's dope. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, of course. And then our slogan is that all is possible because anything's possible. You know, another shirt I saw on the side I like too was the one that had like the cat on the back. Oh, yeah. That was fire, though. Yeah, Sharp TT. How are shorts selling? They're the, they're the hottest thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I looked on there and I was like, dang, so I'm wearing, I'm wearing these right here, but yeah, they're super comfortable. Shorts are in, man. Short yeah. shorts are in. And fam, I'm getting tired of some of the prices I'm seeing on short shorts. You can't go past around 55, 60, which. Oh, I'm so you're saying I should raise my prices? All right. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm seeing shorts I'm out here going for a hundred plus dollars I for a do that. basketball it's, shorts. Adidas. Well, Adidas, I sent you those shorts today. Now, Damn. I think it's a collab with like a Japanese streetwear company or something, but $150 for Daisy Dukes is insane. It, those look like women's like 1980s workout. Uh, no, like, but like uh, PE shorts. Yeah, that's what they look Fam. like. That retro short. That's what the retro cut. Hundred and fifty dollars. Can't do it. Uh. Now, like I said, I think it's it's not clot, but it's you know one of those Japanese brands. But like, you got no business as Adidas charging one hundred fifty. Like when they brought that idea to them, they should have been like, excuse me. First of all, even the Eric Emanuel ones love the shorts, but the oh, way too much no, money. I've man. talked about that a million times. They're one hundred eight stock price. Yeah, that's crazy. I understand it's love made in the, the U.S. Shorts. You can say all day long, hey, man, we make, we, we make them in the USA. We want to pay our American employees to make them. We don't want to pay, you know, cheap Chinese labor or whatever. Cool. I appreciate that. I'm not paying $108 for hoop shorts, man. No, I can't do it. The fire, though, I can't do it. And I hate shorts like that because that's why you got to carry the bag. That's why that. I carry the bag. I'm enjoy it's hundred fifty dollars to a Daisy Duke, so they better give your girl booty though. If you want <laughs> facts, so that's the thing. I don't even know if this is men's if, or women. If you got to pay one hundred fifty for your girl to have a booty, you got the wrong girl. <laughs> <laughs> Human made. That's the uh, oh the okay, brand yeah, that that's just expensive with, anyway. So. Um, I uh, love human Pharrell. made stuff, dude. The t shirts, everything, Man, but it's look a at hitter. those shorts. So they're not skinniest leg I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, fire, that's though, Woody though. from uh from <laughs> Toy Story with them shorts. Them shorts are kind of fire. But shout out to Many Worlds Clothing. I definitely want to go see the fire store. I might go to the store next weekend, right? This weekend. Fire is the now. uniforms Air Force is wearing in that game. That's fire. Oh, Tuskegee, them joints is fire. Yes. Uh, but everybody go to the website. It's on the screen. I'm going to have the graphics on the screen. Miniworldsclothing.com. Go to the site. Check it out. Go to the IG page. Follow them. I IG is everything. Yeah, IG is uh, miniworlds.az, and that's where you can find us. And you'll find me in the store every day, pretty much. So just come through, say hi. Yeah, I'll be able on the weekends too, huh? Yeah. Dang, y'all get a lot of traffic on weekends. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's Dang. actually really weird. Like we'll get busy on like a random Monday. 
Tuesday. You, like, you know what's funny is that like that's how you know that like you're just unsure about certain things is because when I see stuff like that happen, I'm like, oh man, I don't know, that might be a somewhere. But then you talk to the people, oh, business is booming. I'm like, dang, I know nothing about this. Like I, I think I've lost a lot of faith in the sneaker community in Arizona because I feel like it shows up when it wants to show up. But there's just like this other part of the community that like I just not aware of. Like yeah. they show up all the time. That's what they do all the time and me being way out where i live at i don't see that all the time so you know it's like i'm not here in the city i don't know that cats are going in and out of these stores and copping and looking and stuff people just go in there just to cop and look so go take a picture like yeah i mean we're still a part of that too right we're like we're still learning like our customer base right because someone might not come to our store that goes to another store right or they might come over right and we have no hate with anyone like we recommend people to go check out everyone else oh right? yeah everyone I, should. and i should i think us opening up where we're at should like hype phoenix sneaker culture up a little more right so like when everyone starts being able to fly and, and travel we want right. them to come to phoenix and be like i'm gonna hit this shop this shop this shop you know what i mean well that's so, the like, thing because when people come here to visit they say like yo what are the spots i gotta hit exactly it's always the same spots i hit them you know, oh manor is dope and then you know there's a couple little uh, the is still closed yeah yeah it's still closed yeah they haven't opened back up yet somebody said they might not no, that's, yo, that's, i see i seen a post on facebook i think it was on like band la and uh they had like a for sale sign on a on a undefeated building. It was. Oh, I said that. Oh yeah, Silver Lake. Yeah. I'm telling you, somebody but got, told but they me. They got like um, um, Santa Monica, yeah, they got um, a few. Fairfax, not Fairfax, Tokyo, but around there. <laughs> well, yeah, they got 27 shops in Japan. <laughs> Look, I, I'm gonna tell you, dude. I don't know. I don't think it's coming back. Uh, I hate it where they put the undefeated, dude. Where you guys are located is essentially right down Central. Like, Literally, not central, it's a uh, 7th seven, seven, seven seven Street. street yeah. But it's like centrally in Arizona. It's literally right on that road. You look on the side, see it right there. Shoeminator van, bike building, big giant sign. Fire, sorry, too. The big sign outside. Yeah. I think that joint is fire. Uh, but shout out to Many Worlds. Uh, everybody go check it out. Unless you want anything else additional. Nah, man. Something, come nothing see additional. Me, yeah. All right. Skateboard shops. George, you lost your mind on Twitter the other day. What's up, fam? <laughs> Give me a reminder. Fam, you put the biggest rant of all time about being angry at people in skate oh, shops. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we just talking about what I did on Twitter. I don't know. Okay, I know that I've seen Sock retweet the dude and maybe reply to him. I've seen other people who we know or follow on, on Twitter re retweet or follow the dude. I've also seen it be where it was like kind of a parody. So the dude that I quote tweeted, I don't know if he actually works for Union or maybe just knows the Union owner. Because I know at one point I saw where it was just like trolling. He was trolling as if he worked at Union. So I don't know the true story. But he basically, he said uh, skateboard shops have been waiting six years or seven years or whatever to, to for all this traffic they're getting right now to, to whatever. Get y'all to buy extra stuff to get raffle tickets and smash shoe boxes and whatever else. Man... Listen, if the dude works for Union, that means he works in retail. He should know better. Now, Union is not the same as like some brand new shop starting up. Union is older, I think, than Supreme is or about the same age. They start Union started in New York City in the early 90s and then moved to L.A. eventually. And then they closed the New York store down. The dude is young. You can tell by looking at this picture. But if he actually works for them, you have to understand how hard it is for some retail stores to get the hype product. Nike is going to make you take 10 shoes you don't want to get Yeezy 2s. Why do you think so many retail stores, Adrian Wilson store, what's the name of the store? Uh, what was it High Point? Yeah, yeah, out of business. Now, it's a little bit different than skate shops because skate shops have hard goods and whatever else. But look at all the shit skate shops have to take in order to get Nike SBs. And they get what? 24? 20, 32 it's pairs? How many pairs do you think they get over the quick strike? I think the one by my house for the one that just came out, those dunk, the purple ones. Which isn't sent. even a quick strike. That's okay. just like okay. everybody wants it because it was a cool design. They had 13 but, pairs. Okay. Yeah. I mean, they split them up between five stores or whatever, but still. like Right. But still, that shouldn't be. I'm sorry. Every store should be at least in the 30s. To sure. Me. All right. Sure. But, and that's like skate shops are lucky now that GRSBs are reselling for as much as they are because people go in there and make the stock fly. Fam, SBs died about 2014, <laughs> 2013. Didn't come back until Concepts has a big hand in it, honestly. And then we obviously know Travis and whoever else. 2018 was when Concepts redid Purple Lobs, Green Lobs, whatever. 
And then you had that trash dog walker shoe that we've talked about before, which was really <laughs> the trash first one. It's trash. Oh, no, it yeah. sucks. Yeah. You see it in person, you're like, God, it's kind of fire. No, no. It, it, it didn't even make my list because it's so trash. It has no, there's no <laughs> pros on that shoe for me. <laughs> but the fact that, that people think skate shops want this traffic from sneaker Twitter nerds and bot experts is absolutely insane. Like they've been waiting and rubbing their hands together to get these nerds to come into their store. I don't blame skate shops for selling backdoor to loyal customers and their team riders. These are the people that keep them in business. They kept skate shops in business since 14 when people stopped going there for Nike SBs. Why in the world, like sneaker nerds on Twitter are the most entitled people in the entire world. We've talked about that before. Sneaker heads but in with general. skate shops, it's even worse. You, how many, uh, hard goods you buy at that skate shop? How many Scott skate shop t-shirts you buy? How much apparel you buy? How many other shoes other than Nike SB you buy there? Someone's a VIP in that store. You expect to get the pair over them when they help the skate shop keep the doors open. Look how many skate shops closed between 2014 and 2018. Yeah, you know what is crazy though when I, when I, when I talk about that is like annoying. Nike SB is such an anomaly of a brand in section like it's the one genre in our community sneaker community that isn't treated like every other sneaker in the community like it's like everything here your runners your lifestyles your basketball your trainers your things here nike sb you're over here like look how sneakers app capitalized off the fact that like sb started like coming back we can never buy sb off sneakers sbs are on sneakers now sbs should have stayed in the skate shops probably essentially because like you said oh years back they you couldn't get a s an account unless you sold skate hard goods that was the only way to get a, a, a nike sb account some some stores were able to like get around that because it like undefeated could get around it without selling skate goods because undefeated is undefeated they've been around right. since you know the beginning of the sneaker streetwear craze or whatever but other than that you're not getting an sb account unless you sell skateboard when i say hard goods for people who don't know skate decks ollie or, um um trucks trucks wheels, wheels bearing tape, stuff. All yeah. That. Yeah. yeah and I, tape, yeah. and like you can tell like with a lot of skate shops so i went to cow when i went to cowtown right so when they had sent that tweet out that the what is that one the purple is it acg it's more like an acg version of the, yeah, SB the one dunk. you went for right yeah. so all, i was like all conditions and i here. would never move typically like get in my car and go somewhere but literally if you stand on the roof of my house you can see the cowtown that's how close it is so i was like why wouldn't i all right i even debated riding my bike there that's how close it is so i got in the car went there I still didn't make it to get a pair. Like, I got there in about 48 seconds. No joke. I was driving way too fast in the neighborhood. <laughs> and I got there, and you can tell, like, because it's been such a long block of time that skate shops have had to deal with this type of stuff, they didn't know what they were doing. Like, it was the people that were in there. I, I couldn't tell you if they were sneakerheads or just resell. I couldn't tell you. you like mean buying, buying. I couldn't okay. tell, but like it was like um, a group of people. Like back in the day when like a group of us used to be like, hey, 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 hey. It wasn't a line, and the man. It was just one man. Oh, it wasn't. No, no semblance of nothing. No, it was uh. one man. Like one little skinny man who probably does ollies all day, <laughs> <laughs> and he had his mask on all crazy, and he's like. Uh, you you want a, a, a nine? A, 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 <laughs> he's in the back and he brings out one and and then he gave. You he, didn't say none of this. Well, I was we were texting and plus I was mad that day. I don't know what I was mad about. We were texting Fam, about something. You told me none of this story. Normally you would tell me this story. Oh, uh, we've been here since then. That's right. So then, yes. I, so then when I went, I was mad about something that day. Like we were talking about something. But anyways, so like when I got there, they literally gave. They literally gave the very last, I watched him give the very last pair. And when he gave the pair, I said, yo, you got nine and a half, ten. The dude that got the last pair got like a nine, nine and a half. I'm talking ran, ran to this register. Like I was about to get, like get him. And I was like. <laughs> he thought you were about to press him. But yeah. funny is like the Kinda store. What's, yeah. so funny? <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny is the store was so small. The register was right here. I'm like, what are you running? Fam. And Sucked the it. dude, <laughs> this is how I knew that they haven't dealt with anything like that Is this still the time. same location where they first no, opened there? Okay. It, they moved it to a it's different one. like near Bashes or Vons? No, or no, it's moved there? to like Safeway now. Oh, it's like right. way closer to my house now. So Safeway. It's a uh, Litchfield and Indian School. Oh, okay. So oh, it's like it's right there. there. It's right next to this dollar store and GMC, right. whatever. No, but this is what's crazy is that like 
this is how I know the employees haven't been there long enough to deal with SBs and stuff like that. Because the dude sold somebody a pair and one of the pairs in the box was the display. He didn't even give him the display. He said, oh man. <laughs> he said, oh shoot, I gave somebody the, the one without the display. He said, oh, they'll be back. That's how you know that places like That's this crazy. haven't dealt with it in a long time. <laughs> that man out there trying to trade for one shoe. <laughs> <laughs> and like, because it was such a like, whatever. Now going back to what I was saying, yeah, like I said. Why did they even have it on the, I, okay. Yeah, I don't even know how they put it on the display why that they so even quick. Put it on the shelf? But going back to what we were saying, like the genre of skateboard is so different. It's like Nike SB's here, but you can go to one Nike town and buy your basketball, your training, your weightlifting, your running, your whatever else you need, except skateboard. Skateboard sneakers were never in Nike towns Ever maybe San Francisco? It was in uh, Santa few. Monica, yeah, or whatever that store was. That used right to be. there by the beach. It was Santa Monica, yeah. And uh, there was a few, but like that's what's crazy. So it's like I feel like Nike has done an injustice with Nike with skateboard. Like the the numbers that they keep for however much they keep for sneakers is whatever, and then the skate shops get like whatever they get. Like if you're not a premier, if you're not a I don't know what are the other ones. Well, Concepts gets a lot. Concepts obviously. Cowtown is not getting. I mean, if one store got band, thirteen, they probably got quite. Yeah, they're not getting a quick strike like that. But in, in, in Arizona, dude, I'll be honest. Concept, or I mean, um, Cowtown had a collab shoe at one point, but it got scrapped at the very end of the um, production cycle. Mm. This was a long time ago. But they had, they were going to get a collab, which I mean, that's pretty big for us, Arizona. I mean, this is like two thousand nine, two thousand ten, somewhere in there. They you got get a rebound, didn't they? I'm just saying, a um, Nike SB collab for a one skate oh, yeah, shop yeah. in Arizona is a big deal. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, what is, I didn't know they had a brand new store on Union Hills, or not brand new, but the one that Andy went to. Yeah, said, yeah, I was like, I had no idea that existed. I thought there was still what two. You didn't buy an SBs? Mm-mm. None. I mean, I buy SBs for the store, but I don't buy any. Yeah, Do people come in the store and are buying SBs. Yeah, it's hot. Really? Yeah, it's hot for sure. It's hot. I can't even imagine that. Yeah, but I everyone's can't. coming in and like trying to sell like mad high dollar amount for a pair. And we're like, fam. So you guys will pay. See, that's just people. Just that's the thing. Where like, now I don't think I would ever sell at this store. The store I'm going to say, unless I was like super desperate. And we've talked about this a bunch of times because I think they lowball everyone, and I get it. But like a round two, I'm not selling there because I know what they try to do. They're trying to make the most profit for themselves. I totally get it. At the same time. People go in there with unrealistic expectations. You can reference StockX or GOAT if you want, but guess what? You got to go down to payout, and then you probably got to subtract a little bit more than that. Not ask. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. if you're selling it on StockX, you're getting 15% less when you take, you know, PayPal fees and StockX fee out. So, I don't understand why people can't. Yeah, but trying, to, trying to explain I that. It, yeah, trying like, to explain that to someone that's like new or like who thinks they know the game, or even you know, there's a lot of guys in there that, not that have it. been doing it for a long time who they don't really need the money. So like they'll sit on pairs, oh, yeah. you know, they'll sit on pairs or they won't do the deal. So like it's that's probably been the one of the challenging things is just trying to get a, you know get the point across. It's like I get you want most that you can get for your shoe, but at right. the same time, like you know, I have overhead. I got people to pay. Yeah, I got it's a bills. business. Yeah, so it's like, if you want me to make twenty bucks off your shoe, it's not <laughs> happening. Like it's not happening. Well, see, that's yeah. the thing. Like, I and I never understood like even the mindset of people who think that way because, yes, you could come in here and say, "Oh, StockX is selling it for a thousand. Like, you could say that, but that means that's what I want to sell it for. I have to try. I want to sell it for a thousand. Like, I can't give you a thousand, and now I got to try to sell it for two thousand, like or whatever it is. Like, mm-hmm. they have to find that window. I don't envy anybody that has to deal with that because. I feel like Arizona is one of the worst states of individuals that, like, they will hit you with a StockX, a eBay, a GOAT. They'll hit you with everything to tell you how much money they need for something. Even when you just – local Facebook groups and stuff like that, oh, I can get this. Man, you you asked for 500 I offered you 415 420 and you're like, oh, fam, no. Yeah, yeah. that's the other thing. Yeah. It's like trying to get every – but, I mean, we simples like that. <laughs> I mean, I remember the stories people used to tell me, oh, yeah. like, really I don't good. know if it was Don or whatever. Don said he was in – Flight pound one day and simple was like bartering over twenty dollars. Like, bro, just take the. Oh, you will. Just take it. That's the last person who needs an extra twenty dollars. <laughs> simple guy, you got plenty of money and you know it. Um, if you're watching. Yeah, no, I, I definitely, I don't envy anybody that has to deal with that right now. So, like, y'all buy how much y'all buy daily? Um, I mean, it depends on who brings it in. So, like, we're always trying to buy. So, like, we we're constantly looking to buy because. 
I mean, Q4 is coming up, right? We got Christmas and all that, so we're just trying to gear up for that as well. I mean, we have probably like 800 pairs of shoes right now. God dang. So like Dunks, people are coming in buying. They buying like all the like newer, newer ones, or they coming in looking for the OG I stuff mean, too? I mean, obviously you guys know Skate, so Skate's like your guys' boy, so we bought a, a few pairs off of Skate. Oh, really? We probably, spent, <laughs> we probably spent a couple grand. That cat skate. has everything. He has, he has everything. He's like uh, Corey Jr. I mean, nah, like he is. stuff from like 2004, 2002, oh, yeah. we 2003. Have, we have dead stock stuff from that. Yeah. Yeah, so like we bought off of, we, we got a whole big old care package from him that we bought off of a, like, 15 pairs or something like that and it was like OG stuff like that like real yeah. he has a group so. of stuff because when uh, Hat Club dropped the cat Campfire Brown Hats the one that I copped the other week and I said yeah he said man the Dodger one didn't sell out and I said this Campfire Brown hat is kind of hard to wear and he was like oh. the, like burn orange or yeah the burn orange oh, okay. it's called Campfire whatever yeah, sure. and I said All the names are and strong. I said eh, it's kind of hard to wear I don't know and then he was like he oh not three pairs or three of them yeah he was like oh not for me and then he got the old, <laughs> and then he yeah, sends he me a, a picture got a sends, me, orange shoe. sends me a picture of OG original Safari Air from Mac Air Max ones, like oh, two of yeah. them, two. I'm like, oh, oh, I got the dunks too, just in case. I, whichever, one. I'm like, fam, what's up, man? <laughs> but you know what's crazy lately? He skate, probably got the uh, what you call it from the Ugly Duckling pack too. That one has orange, has like burn orange. orange yeah. Yeah. But that's good it's like though. Popping, and it's good that you guys are doing stuff like that because, like, when I see people online posting stuff for sale and stuff, I'm like, man, how are they selling this stuff? How are they buying it? But shops like this that are opening up looking for that inventory, that's good. That build up stock. And plus, I love going into a shop seeing OG. Stuff sneakers as well you can go into a lot of shops and see all the latest stuff which is cool like i understand it but like going to tour i'm gonna tell you something there's a sneaker that i always want to see in a shop that does resale or consignment one dunk sb that i always want to see and i always want to see a tiffany dunk in there i don't know why i feel like a tiffany dunk in a shop legitimate i don't know why i feel like that i yeah. just do I, I do we have a pair come check it out yeah <laughs> <laughs> i feel 11. like it legitimizes your shop like you got, got a lot of sizes in there and stuff like that yeah we do we got uh, I, I would say like the one sizes that we don't have majority of is going to be like above a 14 like oh, those okay. are like super are hard, hard to get yeah, yeah. and then obviously you already know like anything below like a six is like almost impossible to get so i'm just like y'all like i'm up on a saturday and a friday trying to cop on sneakers too right like i don't got no plug that's gonna get me 30 pairs like so i would think i, I got plugs like, nah. well, wait if you get something off sneakers you're putting in the store oh yeah Oh, you didn't keep nothing for yourself. I don't keep nothing for myself. Dang. I don't keep besides the unions because I really wanted that pair. Yeah. You know what I mean? But as far as me, I don't keep nothing. Like I've been trying I'm, to tell that's I'm what I'm trying to that. talk to Greg into is like, bro, we don't need six hundred shoes. We yeah. need like eighty to hundred. I Five. know what we not, need. Not but even that. Like I'm I'm oh, cool really at my thirty. Either. I'm cool at my thirty. Yeah, see, I, I wear I my think daily like, like eighty is like Yeezys. well see, but you gotta include that in there though. You can't just like have say I want thirty, but then you got like daily wears by the front door. Yeah, I mean that's but yeah, that's that ain't thirty though. That's Okay, like 35, 35 or 40 right. yeah, yeah. see that's different I think everyone's like that though to an extent right you have to have like your set 80 pairs or whatever and you have those daily runners that you always throw on whether yeah. it's slides or whatever thinking about going down to 80 literally makes my hands shake yeah Why? cause you like seeing boxes in the closet I love seeing boxes in the closet you boxes fam I'm, <laughs> I'm, selling, boxes. I'm selling SBs right now I, like I said I woke up and sold two good I sold, let me tell you something. I sold. Let me tell you what I sold. I sold the Metacom Bears already, right? I sold them. Oh, you say you're keeping it. I didn't open the box, right? Left it at the front door for about a week. However, when we got it, left it at the door, didn't bother with it. But then I was like, hey, for some reason, I just feel like it just might disappear. So I moved the box to the room. I was like, you know what? Forget this dunk, all right? Sold it, right? And I, I hit the homie up first. A few homies, like, yo, y'all want this? Because I know y'all wear the size. You want it? Nah, I don't wear SBs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I sold it. So I opened the box to put the little shipping paper in it. Fam, Metacom Bears are fired. Not even a question. It's on my list. What? <laughs> Them joints are fire. It's one of the best SBs I've seen in a really long time. Don't do that. It, uh, I am doing it. Don't it's do fire. Huh? Don't do that, that shoe is fire. Huh? I was like, dang, I already sold it. It I, sucks. I, I, what's my penalty? Suck. What's my penalty if I change my mind? <laughs> <laughs> that joint is fire. It huh? depends on what you sold it on. Yeah. If you sold it on GOAT, they just subtract 10 points. If you sold it on StockX, it might be a bigger deal. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. You, you might be able to, me and you don't get penalized. You'll you, be right. You might, <laughs> I know, huh? you might be able to tell somebody uh, to remove it from the system for you. 
Man, but I started t- taking stuff to the shop, you know, taking stuff to many worlds. <laughs> I'm trying to get cashed out. You, know. um, you don't like waiting, so that makes sense for you. You right? I hate. I'm waiting, holding bro. both frags. I'm holding community gardens. You better I'm get rid of them frags. So. No, man, that's gonna be a thousand dollars shoe. It's already a thousand dollars shoe, ain't it? No, no it's, it's like five hundred. Yeah, four ninety. Oh, they tanked it. I, I looked on Stadium you. Goods and I saw like for like eleven yeah, hundred. That Stadium Goods, they're gonna, they're gonna tax heavy on it. It's a new Stadium Goods opening in what Chicago. I saw a brand new one. Yeah, it's crazy, nah, man. man. People, I told you. Why you think I tweet every single day about the the, the brick layers are out? And then today with the fifty percent off uh, selling fees, uh, stuff like that does weird things to people. Like they think all of a sudden it's like went from ten percent to zero percent selling fees or something. I don't know what people are thinking. It's, it's not that though. much. It's just marketing, though, right? Yeah. It's like smart marketing. You get that email. You're like fifty percent off selling fees. It's on everything. Oh, I'm sure StockX, even though they cut their fees in half StockX probably makes a killing on a day like today the the shoes get people in the store though right oh yeah that's what gets them in oh yeah, yeah. okay oh yeah the shoes everyone wants to come see this, the shoes you know like you mentioned the store looks nice right everyone has automatic when they walk in you just see this wall of what shoes. Uh, what streets is it on for people who don't know it's on I mean, they can look street, it up on IG, yeah it's on 7th street just north of Indian school so like half a mile past oh, okay school, oh yeah so, so Okay, Indian School. Yeah, and it's on the west side, I guess you would say, um, of the, of Seventh Street. You would see it, it's all black building. So like Campbell and Seventh ish. Almost, yeah, almost to Xavier. So like right before Xavier. Okay, all right. It's I like Meadowbrook or something. That's like the that. only way I knew that Rejuvenator had moved from when they were way out on Bell. I kept driving by, like, yo, this van always out this building. Like, yo, they must have moved. <laughs> Every time I used to drive by, you see the van in front. I used to be like, yo, they must be in there now. Van looked like a, the building used to look like a FBI hidden pole. The building was just black. <laughs> you know? right. It used to look like one of them places. Uh, you take take a terrorist, uh, and you, <laughs> you put him in a chair, and you torture him. Uh. No, black, black sites. Yeah, a black site. That's what it looked like. Fam. Black sites are like in places where you can't escape from. You can't, like, if you escape from Phoenix, you got a lot of options. You can't escape from, like, an island. Well, we have where a, you going to go? We got a couple black site buildings here there might be but no there is <laughs> <laughs> Let me go. all right i'm just letting you know damn you're not escaping from like they put you on an oil rig or something like that no? yes what's that movie with uh <laughs> i'm Wahlberg? just saying like they put you on an oil rig this was a fire going, movie though a very underrated movie though with mark Wahlberg. don't don't shrug no no i'm oh, just okay. saying like that movie was fired making though. the point literally that, fired the entire not- oil rig blew up all right. Was that Pop like twist. the one that was based on the true story? Yeah, yeah in New yeah, Orleans. Chill out. Yeah. Damn, I not give the story away, but <laughs> <laughs> that was a good story. That good, good movie, fire. Good uh, I don't got nothing else to talk about. Anybody got anything else to talk about? Cause I got NFL picks going, and our top ten list. I'm going back to the to what you sent me. What the the layout oh. for the show? Yeah, I really got much. Oh, LeBron on. 18. Oh, I mean, you would have said it sucked. It does. But you, I don't you, like it. But you, huh? You don't like it? You know, I haven't liked the it LeBron sucks. since the ten though. So like. LeBron after anything after LeBron ten trash. You know what's gonna mess. You know what the thing is too with these LeBrons is that like I don't think they suck visually from see having seen one in hand yet. From what I can see, they look okay. But coming out oh, with no, retros, suck. coming out with the retro of LeBrons when he still plays the signature, that ruins it. Like I'm looking at on Twitter upcoming eight that are getting ready to retro another seven that's two sevens that are getting ready to retro and then you drop an 18 why on earth would i buy this 18 when the eight and sevens are probably the greatest lebrons of all time mm-hmm. like so it's like i'm thinking to myself like you're ruining your own upcomings with the retros because lebrons you can still play in because some i told that to somebody else and they were like yeah but see nike's smart about it they just do like just dropped Oh yeah, of course. Sell out. I saw everybody buy them. Yo, thank you, King. I I'm sold like, mine. Okay. I'm, I'm probably made ten dollars, but I got rid of it. <laughs> and and, and, and look. it won't ruin my Nike account <laughs> by returning it. Thank God. And with the like, and that was the thing I said. Like, why would I buy a new LeBron? Because I'm always going to buy the retro. I said with him building that school in, in Akron, I will yes. always buy a LeBron every single year. Thank God they make retros because I don't want any of the new ones. Don't buy anything. But. The thing is, I said, we've never seen that before. We've never seen, besides Jordan, retros come out when the players still played. The problem with Jordans is they were so old, you couldn't play. No, nah, Kobe's did. Kobe's in retro when Kobe played. Yes, they did. The I mean, it was a special I mean, pack. They had but the they, Prelude pack. Yeah, like, and the other one. Yeah, but I mean, Fades like, black. ain't that the same thing? Oh, they had the Prelude oh. pack. Ah, that's like a special type thing. I don't know if that, like... Yeah. They were retros. Either way, but but you know what? We lost our minds for all of those and didn't care about the Jordan's newer newer didn't retro really because yeah they he did. Re- they, he just couldn't he, play in them. He retired in ninety. Okay, so sorry, Jordan one retroed in ninety four while he was still playing. But uh, I mean, uh, look, I'm, I'm saying it happened. I mean, some retros came out. Jordan one. Okay, one shoe. Okay, okay. And if you include whatever happened when he was in Washington, which I don't, so I'll do that. 
Because you know what? On happen. that suck, don't suck list, some of those drawings after 14 should be But, listed. actually, matter of fact, this is a topic because somebody asked me about it when they said um, Jordan get in a NASCAR. It might have been Dave. Jordan get in a NASCAR and sign in Bubba Wallace. And we were talking about, like, um, you know, is Bubba Wallace going to get a shoe, that kind of thing. The, I think Denny Hamlin is the captain yeah. of the team or whatever. Number one, he would be heated. And Bubba Wallace got a PE and he didn't get one. But number two... This was a legit topic. Did Jordan sell his soul to Satan to become the greatest basketball player of all time? And he had to give away the fact that he could ever win as an executive because that's... <laughs> Look, man, whatever he did, I would do it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> He's the richest athlete in the world. No dub. I mean... Man, to just enter, be like, I'm going to buy my way in the NASCAR and stuff like that is amazing. Uh, like, Jordan has made incredible strides the last, like, year or two well, in being Jordan more the, publicly... Gonna, only sponsor of the course. team I think FedEx and like, yeah they have but I'm, I'm saying like to be able to like do and obviously Denny Hamlin's really good he might he's be a really the good best racer. one out right 100% now, um, but he's been with Jordan Brown for years now like a yeah. long long time um, look man Jordan is oh, Jordan fan. man Kwame Brown I mean what <laughs> what about him that was Jordan's yes he, he made some bad decisions that's what right. I'm saying look man it doesn't matter anymore is he cursed or no Oh no, Jordan Brand is cursed too. That's in I'm basketball. I'm not what I'm asking you. Okay. That's not what I'm asking you. Well, that's what I'm telling you. That's not what I'm asking you. Okay. Is he gonna win anything as an executive or does is in NASCAR he will? It? You think so? Of course he will. He has like, good drivers. Like Denny Hamlin team championship or what? They're gonna win. They're gonna win races. I don't know about the NASCAR championship, but they're gonna win races. Like we're talking about Denny Hamlin and Bubba Wallace. Win games. They are two stop. <laughs> Bobcats don't even exist. <laughs> what are you talking Bobcats about? Bobcats win games. <laughs> Bobcats are the hornets again. Oh, whatever they are. <laughs> it don't even matter. He was part he part of both of them. Fam. Winning is winning. All right. You win the Daytona and you don't know you, you won. You win, you know, Talladega, you I mean Talladega is Daytona. But you win those, you win. All right. That's all that matters. Winning is winning. All right. When you're on that thing and you you're pouring all that milk on your face and you're holding that trophy okay. that confetti falling. That's at the Indianapolis 500. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> what are they pouring their face in? Uh, beer? It Middle depends light? on the sponsor of the race that they're going to, but the tradition for like a non-sponsorship is oh. milk is at Indianapolis 500. Oh, okay. Look. But Jimmy Johnson is going to Indy now. It's IndyCar. That's whack, man. IndyCar is too dangerous. It's kind of funny. That's way too dangerous. I don't know why we're talking I would about NASCAR. Never I know. I have no funny. idea. I haven't watched NASCAR in so long, but Jimmy Johnson used to be my favorite racer. I used to watch him back in Irvindale Speedway in California when I was like 12. I love Jimmy Johnson. Wait, what city you grew up in then? I grew up in East LA, and then I moved to oh, okay. Inland Empire I, when I was like 12. Because oh, right. I didn't oh, grow up too sure. far from Irwindale. Yeah, so my my mom used to just get like free tickets for something, oh, and yeah. we used to just like cool. watch NASCAR at Irwindale Speedway. <laughs> Like it, it was, it was. That's like a the dope one thing, event though. that I'll never ever go to again. Is NASCAR events? Really? It's too loud. It is way what? too loud. NHRA is way louder. When we went to, uh, Fam, we went you like sitting in the like main stands oh, yeah. at NHRA. You better have earphones. Fam, I was with. Ah. Okay, I was with Budweiser. All right. Like a jet so when I was with Budweiser, we were in the thing. Like I was in there putting tires on the cars. Though. We was in there. Though. Like I'm not even joking. I was walking <laughs> on the, the cars. The yeah. the I was up there talking to him. I said, Yo, how can we take some weight off this car? Though? I was <laughs> in there. Yeah, they consulted. I was trying to make it. A, a, a nine second car. Shoes. You were too. You were like, I was like, look, fiber on the outside. I said, if you yeah. take the wheel off and then you put this one on and you rotate them, yeah. take off 0.5 seconds. <laughs> I was in there. Fam, we were sitting. A carbon short shift. The smell and the sound was so. I couldn't even handle it. Mentally and physically, I was done. I went and bought those expensive. <laughs> went to the booth and bought those things. I looked like I was like flying a jet. Playing though, I was like this, delirious. It was so loud. No? I can never go to a NASCAR event ever again, no? unless I own a team. So I'm never going again. Uh, <laughs> we live right next to the PIR. I go. I, that's where I've been there too. I can't do it. I've no? never been to an event. I mean, I've been to NHRA, but fam, you will the, have a seizure. No? I'm about to have. First of all, the cars go by so fast. I was, I just My couldn't. EKG was perfect today, so I, <laughs> I ain't having nothing. No? <laughs> I always have, fam. I've taken a lot of EKGs. Though. I remember one time I was in the shower. I thought I was having a heart attack. Though. You Fire. always think you're having a heart attack. <laughs> You, you right. You have an I'm a paranoid Y'all, y'all are really old. I'm going to take a drink. I'm a paranoid. <laughs> you know what's Damn. funny? Speaking of water is like the last couple Speaking years of water. On, I'm just saying like <laughs> the last couple of years on Twitter, I see more people talking about like, uh, you know, like people who you, you follow for years and you like they're out there in the streets and then all of a sudden like the light goes on like fam, all these years we've been drinking alcohol. We should have been drinking water to get sober, not to get drunk. I was dying laughing just seeing that from some of those people who like 
You? <laughs> I'm telling you, water has been, like people like. I don't, okay, we're in the wrong climate to be talking about smart people, obviously. But it's weird seeing people like the light bulb come on and they're like, "Oh, we should have been drinking water all along." Those are weird. Like no up. duh. Okay. <laughs> uh, one NFL picks. Real yeah. quick. You well, did you do no, a recap? Any picks? Dang, huh? Did you do a recap? Oh, someone did it for us. Uh, yep, I, I won. love. I love our listeners. Uh, they do everything for us. Uh. <laughs> so I do got that. So he said last week, week two, I went twelve and four. No, you didn't. Fam, don't do this to the listeners. He put the stats together. No, you didn't. I went twelve and four. You went fifteen and one. You didn't matter. Relax. You don't even know that, so don't do that. <laughs> you right? Yeah. Because <laughs> when I heard that twelve and four, Fam, I was like, let me let me give you his analysis. He said, when you guys disagree, George is four and one. Yeah. While Greg is one and four. <laughs> he said, when you both agree, you both are 11 and oh, when we both agree. Shout out to JT Thompson. Uh, that's the only shout out I got from a DM I remember today. <laughs> so, but I said, man, I appreciate that. Good. So I ain't got to remember that. All right. So. You wrote them down last week. I figured you count. Fam, you know me. I, I throw everything in the trash. All right. You making picks or no? You watch football? Yeah, he has to. I didn't make no picks. No. Yeah. I mean, you do, do it on the fly. You could just make them up. I mean, you could still analyze the game. Like, we talk, we say whatever we want. Look, week three, Fins at Jets. Dolphins, that is. Who's you, winning? You mean Jaguars? Jaguars, sorry. <laughs> Come on. Who's going first? Just go. Jaguars. You going? You, you love go. mustache, I'm, man. I'm, a, so. I'm just going to say Jets, just go. to disagree. <laughs> Jets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with Dolphins, okay? You love mustache, man, and you going with the Dolphins. What do you think? They're putting two in? Is that why? Uh, they have to pretty soon. All right, fam. Fitzpatrick still out here. Did you see the thing? Was you were you watching Red Zone? Because I know I put you on the Red Zone in Week One, and okay. you thought it was the greatest thing ever. You didn't put me yes, on. I did. The, oh wait, you yes, did. I did. <laughs> you did put me on the Red Zone. You said you've had it for years and never watched it. I said, man, what? Red Zone is black. Huh? You smoking sure Nah, man. you're right. You're right. I love it. I'm just talking. Forty nine. Did you watch it? Yes. Did you see when they said the feed? They had lightning in yeah. Miami last week, and they couldn't show a touchdown. And so they got video from someone in the stands. They had fans in the stands who recorded the touchdown. And Red Zone's thing is we show you every touchdown every week. And they literally showed the they fan showed video. The, I, saw saw that? I saw it on that Twitter. Hilarious. Uh, Niners at Giants. Giants. <laughs> Not a Niner fan. So. I hate the Niners, though. So I'm going Giants. I, Giants got to win. Even though they got Saquon, they got to win Saquon at home. Saquon and they got a whack quarterback. No, 49ers going to run the ball over them. So you got them. I got them. I don't want to pick the Niners on another. But here's Giants the thing. Oh, you know what? Matter of fact, the league forces you to fly home because they played in the exact same stadium. They played the Jets last week because we know because Ricardo won't love, let us forget it. Then the NFL won't let them stay in New York or New Jersey. They have to fly all the way home and come all the way back. I should pick the Giants just for that fact. I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, they announced the it. football. Wow. The football team of the DMV. <laughs> the football team. The football team of Washington at the Browns. This this line is way too high. I'll say that much. I think Washington football team covers that number easily. But I'm going to say the Browns. I'm going Equine. Browns too. I got to. The Browns favored by over anyone by seven points is insane. I hate the Browns. Uh, I mean, I root for them because it's Simple's team, but whatever. Bengals at Eagles. Eagles got to get a win at some point. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't see them going on three. Johnny not making no picks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making no picks. I, I literally have no time. I haven't had time to watch sports in I don't know how long. Yeah, you be at work on a Sunday. Night, uh, I did watch the Raiders game last night. <laughs> Oh yeah, they won. Shout sure out to the Raiders. Uh, look at that. That's his squad. Uh, mm. Raiders at Patriots. Patriots. I'm gonna go Raiders just because Tom Brady's not there. If I Tom Brady the was there, Patriots win easily. Fam, but Cam Newton threw for 400 yards in Seattle. Was balling. You right, but here's the thing: the Raiders in the first two games have played the two best running backs, at least from like a catching and running standpoint, in the entire league, and they're two and zero. And I'm not saying that's the only factor. But if the Raiders defense, if that's the part that can beat the Raiders defense is a really versatile running back, guess who ain't got that? New England. <laughs> who you got? Uh, Bears or Falcons? I got Bears. Who cares? Blow the stadium up. I see him very nice. Trash though. cans. <laughs> yes, it is. And they got cheap snacks. And the Bears are too. not trash cans. 
Uh, well, They're winning Trubisky's, cheap it's, snacks. For, it's like the two best games of his entire career that he's played in the first two weeks. Who you got, Bears or Falcons? Neither one. Blow the stadium up. All right. Oh, wait, I'm uh, going to give you Ty. Uh, give me the Bears. All right. I got Bears, too. All right. Rams at Bills. I got Rams. I got Rams. Give me the Bills. They're good at home. They they're while they're whack on the road. They're good at home. And man, it wasn't man is might be the revelation of the league. Stop it, Josh Allen, bruh. He's balling, but relax, bruh. But he's balling, relax. I'm just saying. Te- Texans at Steelers. I got Texans. You know I hate the Texans. Nah, Steelers. That's good. Steelers. <laughs> Steelers. <laughs> That's good. Titans at Vikings. I got Vikings. The Titans are a favorite at the Vikings. I told you last week in the thread that I know Ricardo thinks his team is the worst. The Vikings might be the worst team in the league. Maybe. But they're going to win, they gotta win, this win a game at some They got to win this one. Vikings. GM. Vikings, Titans. Johnny, you making a pick or no? No pick. <laughs> Panthers. <laughs> Panthers at Chargers. Chargers. If Chargers Easily play Chargers. new quarterback, Chargers. They better be playing new quarterback. Mm. Tyrod Taylor cannot get they, his job for man, nothing. They like. said he went to the hospital with like chest pains. Like not like he injured his chest. Like yeah, did you internal, see him? like a heart attack or something. No, yeah. I didn't see the video. He was like warming up and then like on the bench like this like all crazy. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh man. We'll go with Chargers. And quarterback's going to have a week to warm up as the number one, be the number one on the depth chart. They yep. told him three minutes before the game, Chargers. you're starting bucko. And he yeah, said, that's me? Exactly how they said it. <laughs> me? Bucko. He said, he called his mom, mom. Yes, he's like 6'6", 240. And he said it with that tone of voice. <laughs> me? Me, coach? Where's my helmet? Uh, Jets at Colts. <laughs> I'm not even wearing my uniform. Uh, I got Colts. Oh, that's a movie. Jets at Colts. Uh, <laughs> see, now this is the that's game where... <laughs> This, uh, right. The coach going to you like me, coach. Now this is the game where I could see Ricardo saying like, "Oh yeah, my team's gonna get blown out. Colts by a million. You say last by week, a million last week a lot, and the no. teams didn't win by a million. Yes, they did. Mm-hmm. What teams? They won. They didn't win by a million. What teams are you talking about? Uh, you said the Browns are gonna beat the Bengals by a million. They won by like. 30. No, I didn't. I said the Bengals were covering. You said the. Um, oh, I said the Bengals would cover the number. Who else did you say was going to win Fam, by a million? I was going to pick them last week. Oh, you said I, Chiefs, Chiefs over Chargers by a million. No, I didn't. I picked the Chargers to cover. Okay. In my pick them. Okay. See, now you're just making stuff Colts. up. Colts. You got Colts? Yes. Cowboys at Seahawks. Um, Seahawks. Yeah, I got Seahawks. Russell Wilson's probably the Cowboys, my favorite. Cowboys, my favorite team. But come on, man, let's not get ridiculous. I think Cow- Ru- Russell's Cowboys. Be- it's early. Cowboys beating Wilson's. the Falcons this week was stupid. All right, I don't care what anybody says. Everybody's like, "Yo, fam, that was crazy." Well, it's listen, not crazy because it's you know stupid what? that your team is allowing. Th- listen, I know they fumbled exactly. four times in I ten pick, plays no, no. or whatever. How do you allow thirty nine points no. at home? I picked the score. I said Cowboys forty four, Falcons thirty one. I was almost there with that score, yeah, almost all the way around. Yeah, all right, yeah, but you weren't, fam. That the was pro- uh, look. Uh, the people were like, "Yo, people before the Falcons game, if you guys lose to the Falcons, what's up with this camera, man." It's off? No, oh, it says up, it says if you guys lose to the Falcons, you guys are trash. And then we beat the Falcons and all of a sudden we're the greatest team on earth. I was like, no, no, no. And Ezekiel <laughs> Elliott, fam, he fumbled twice in like under 45 seconds. He oh, a, I thought he only fumbled once. He was had He two fumbled months. twice and recovered one. Right. Fam. He has a, a feed me tattooed on his stomach. Yeah. Eat the football so you don't drop it. <laughs> Let the football go in your stomach so you don't drop it, you freak. Uh Lions at Cardinals. I mean, he's a weird person. I got Lions. Lions yeah. at Cardinals? Yeah. No, I got to go with Cardinals. They're at home. Or maybe it's the other way around. I told you Cardinals no, lose Lions at Cardinals. week four. No, nah, Lions going to win that one. They go Lions the have to win at some point. Lions win Lambeau up by 14, still lost. Lions are at home on the Bears up by like 17, still lost. They got to win one. Lions. You going Lions or Cardinals? No, I'm saying I'm going oh, Cardinals. Oh, yeah, I know I'm why. I'm saying the reason why is because they're the Lions. Uh, <laughs> Buccaneers, Brown, Broncos. Broncos quarterback is out. And I, Tom Brady, I mean. I'm picking bu- Buccaneers. Bucks. Yeah, we don't, need, we don't need all that. Packers. I'm Packers just saying, at, like, I'm trying to look at the line. like Packers ooh. at Saints. Packers. Packers, Aaron Rodgers might be MVP as well. Saints at home, I'm going Saints. Stop it. You see uh, Drew Brees' arm last night in the Raiders game? Yeah, but Michael Thomas <laughs> might be back. He's not. Well, we'll High ankle sprain. As of right now, with not knowing, I'm going Saints. All right. Chiefs at Ravens. Ravens by 30. Wow. The Chiefs are not that good. <laughs> They're not by that good. 30. They're not that good. Pick the Ravens. Stop it. Pick the Ravens. Stop it. Yeah, well. 
Pick we'll, the Ravens. We'll go Ravens. That's Thank fine. you very much. All right, I don't need to know. The Ravens are probably the most complete team in the NFL. So, yes, that's fine. Seahawks, best team in football. Ravens, number no, two. No, no. What? Yeah, if they really? played each other head up on a neutral field, See, you Seahawks, would pick the Seahawks? I'd pick the Seahawks. Why? Because they are extremely good. Damn, they just gave up 39 to Cam or 34 to Cam or whatever. Damn, don't talk about Cam like, like he's no, no, just no, some old no, bum. No, to no, Cam. No, 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 to no, Cam. No. Four. Name the next receiver after Edelman on that team. Uh, exactly. So, uh, <laughs> exactly. Randy Moss. He, he didn't come back. That's he not paid no more. Like oh. I said, name the running back once James Harry. went out. Huh? Okay, so you do know one, but the only reason you know it is because he went to ASU. It's facts. He's he good though. He no good. Any no, ball? No, he's not. Huh? No, he's not. He played good. Don't do that. Don't no. You don't do that. No. You love hating on ASU. You know that. Whack. No, stop. Whack. Yes, whack. He's whack. Whack. Yes. Why do you think Tom Brady left New England? Yeah, because they the drafted rec- Harry. They said you got Harry. I'm out. No, because the receiver <laughs> core is so trash. He left there because he's just looking for a change. Okay. No, that's, yeah, no, that's not why he left. Okay. Let's do this top ten list so we can go home. All right. Y'all ready for this? You make I'm a ready. list. I did make. You a sure? List. Yep. All right. All right. I'm gonna make people mad with this too. Fam, yeah, because you just made it right now. No, no, no that makes you mad. <laughs> Fast. He started it two hours ago. He's good. Top <laughs> 10 sneakers that suck but don't suck to us. I got one honorable mention. Jordan 34. I like the Jordan 34, but it's something about it that makes it suck. It's Which one, one of the that one? The one, the one that's, that's out now. hasn't come out yet? No, the one's out now. That's 35. That's not out yet. The one now that like... Um, oh, Zion. Zion and Tatum play in. That joint is fire, you know? But it's something about it that makes it suck, but it's something about it that makes it extremely appealing. I love it. That's all I got for honorable mentions. Johnny, what you got honorable mentions? Y'all gonna hate me probably. Probably. But I know you guys are old heads. <laughs> See, like runners and stuff. I'm just gonna go with any ASIC Jail Light 3. What? I'm not mad at that, okay. actually. He hates Jail Light 3. So. I don't necessarily hate them, but they're, yeah, they, they're, they're overrated. Yeah, they're super overrated. The tongue on that shoe is disgusting. Yeah, split tongue. Yeah. Stupid. Uh, disgusting. Fam, you just bro. bought a shoe that folds, flips, convertible tongue union. <laughs> <laughs> and a split tongue Are you is sure insane. It's 34, 35, because nothing's coming up on here. Jordan 34. Is it? Is it in uh, Nike? Uh, Roman numerals? Air, yes, it's Roman numerals. XXX. <laughs> Whatever. <Tassio. Cool>. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got? My mentions. Uh, DB nine. What's it? Oh. Mm, oh yeah, those suck. That's a, yeah. that's a those those suck. super suck. They suck, but when you see them in hand, no, they're kind of okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's why I chose it. I mean, DB nine to me is like I love the concept of the DBs, right? right. And that shoe is cool, like black and gold. I, I love the color scheme, but just I don't know. It just sucks to me. All right, so they need to do this colorway on a different shoe, and I think I will buy it. That but, shoe's fire to me. That yeah. shoe is fire. That shoe's fire. I think they, I don't know about that color. Is okay. No, no, I like the color. Yeah, Bayou boys. Yeah. I like the color. What else you got? That's, that's it. That's it. My I mean, mentions. even though it's not the color of an alligator, for some reason it reminds me of alligator. I mean, well, I know the Bayou. That's what it's supposed to be. I understand that, uh, but I mean, the they, water boys. You know, it's like. Alligator print or something, oh, yeah. I guess, but it's not the color of an alligator, which is like, but for some reason, I still look at it. I'm like, oh, it's an alligator. You got to honorable mention, George? Did you honorable make Honorable mention. Going to make someone very angry, and I don't care. You actually made <laughs> an honorable mention as you made your list now? That's how, that's how, that's how talented I am. All right. Jordan won off white Chicago. Sucks, wow. but doesn't suck. That's a good one. Because it kind of And it's not in my top 10 because I didn't want to make people too mad. But it needed to be mentioned. You like those? I do. Really? I do. I had the Carolina ones. Man, oh, those one are of the worst shoes I've ever touched well, we in my We both sold life. way too early. <laughs> way too early. Though. I think I sold mine still for like a rack, but could have sold Yeah, your size like, went more. I think I sold mine for like 800 850 Not enough. Wow, The Chicago's... Really? Wow. Look, I, you know what? Every time I see somebody wearing them, they look okay. The Chicago's. Nah. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen anyone make it look good on foot. Dead serious. I have. There were celebrities. But well, if you're like 6'9", and yeah, I mean, have I think like Jason Tatum was wearing skinny legs. It was ball. Okay. It was fire. Thank you. Yes. LeBron had a pair of things. Every fire. day. <laughs> Those aren't normal people. Who wants to go first with all 10? George, you go first since you made yours now. Number 10, Jordan 1 Low SB Lance Mountain Desert Ore. I know you'll agree with that one. That one sucks. It sucks, but it doesn't suck. You're right. Yep. Because <laughs> it's still a Jordan 1 Low. Because it's still a Jordan low 1 SB. Low. 
Number nine. You're going to be mad at me about this one because you just caught it. Supreme Fire. Metacom Dunk SB. The one that just came out because I know there's more than one. Supreme Fire. Oh, by the way. And they're hairy, but they're not that hairy. They're hairy, but like like I told you. They got like a fade. They got like a fade or a Caesar. When I open the box. All right. Yes, it has a Caesar. It does. When I opened the box last week, there was something that made me want to put it on my foot. Me too. at the same time, it sucks. The gray sole with the white midsole. Yes. And then the black hair. Like, I don't like the hairy shoes that much, even though I have more hairy shoes than you have, but they smooth hair. Like, they definitely put, like, some oh, Murray's. Don't talk about like, the they put hair. A on them. sucks. They had a do-rag on them shoes. <laughs> sucks, but doesn't see. He yeah, has a wave cap. Had a wave cap and some Murray's grease on Medicom them. Medicom should have done that. They should have put a wave cap in a pack. Nah, it would have been racist, huh? Nah, I don't think so. Fam, they would have put some. You know what would have been racist is if that, if that when part. we did the thing last week and I was talking about those Ari Newport shoes. Now, if he would have did something. That's funny. Yes, but if he would have just done it, that would have erased Joe Button picture. <laughs> <laughs> Newports, like What'd that you? LeBron picture where they like put the wave cap on him and the cigarette in his ear or whatever. That's funny. Now, if you that's one of the that funniest memes ever. Though. Of course it is. All Which, of them. By the way, I'm, you should agree with me. W- Wiki is going to be the meme of the year. So. Fam, I, don't, I hate. <sighs> you seen it? Know, man. They did the like reading of Fast Times of Ridgemont High LaBeouf. with all the. Yeah, they did the reading of. Well, you say you're busy all the time, but they did a reading of Fast Times at Ridgemont High with like Brad Pitt, Jennifer Aniston. Oh yeah, the, like the whole web. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And they had I call him Wait Wiki because I yeah, refuse Shia to say LaBeouf. his real yeah, name. Shia but in the video, he had like them neon glasses and yeah, was smoking. He was like, yeah. <laughs> meme of 2020. I'm telling you, he as my dumb hero, as this though. year is, man, meme of 2020. Like I said, he might be. I mean, I could you, you can, retracted it last listen, night, so don't get, do that. No, I know that's what I'm saying. Like you said, he was a legend one day. Then last night you said, no, he's no, no. Last night is when I said he was a legend, mm. but not for his uh, what he how he dresses, which is why Simple loves him, or his acting. Yes, I'm sure he's a good, okay actor, good actor, he's whatever. Good actor. But that's not why. It's because of stuff like that. Like you do that when you got like Brad Pitt, Morgan Freeman, Jennifer Aniston, serious people. Uh, what was Pretty Woman? What's her name? Uh, Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts, and you doing that on the stream, fam. You are a legend, hero, smoke. He was might as well have been hot boxing the car. He may have been. I think he was in a car. He was in the car. He yeah. was yeah, in, a, he he was was in, in the, the car, car, but was the window <laughs> down is the question. Oh, who knows? Oh, he was All right, sweat. What did I say? Number nine, that's what I said. Yep. Number eight, Jordan one tie-dye. Suck, but don't suck. Wow. There's something about that shoe that's good. I love that shoe. See? Yeah, I love that shoe. Something about that shoe that's good. It looks and like I, a woman's woman shoe. shoe. Well, it, it is a woman's shoe. shoe. Oh, it looked yeah. like one. But there's something that makes you look at it and is like, I can see that being kind of fire, but then also at the same time, you're like, this sucks. Yes, that's a good pick. Now, all the shoes on my list, that shoe I feel very strongly about. They should have been number one. No, because I have other ones on here that people get more angry about. What number seven, Jordan 1 Biohack. Wow, really? Them joints are fire. Stop it. Wow. Sucks what doesn't suck. Nah, that's crazy. Fire. We have like eight pairs. Them joints are fire. I have them at home. Suck. Them them no, nah, don't do that. Nice. They fired. Uh, I don't understand don't why you don't like those. <laughs> like, I don't get that. It's just, it's because the materials are art. Is it too many colors? No, don't do the that. Green, the green yes. midsole? Yes, too many colors. Don't, do, don't that. do that. No, you don't do that. You got yellow on the day. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> you like them. Stop it. They're fire. No, no. They're better than the dunk. Oh, they suck, but don't suck. Okay. That's why it's on the list. It's, okay. Yeah, yeah. Fine. Pros, Pros and cons. Pros and cons. Pros and cons. Number six, Nike. You. This is... Perfect for this list, but you think it sucks completely, so you're gonna be upset about this. Nike SB Dunk Low Strange Love. Something. Oh, that pink mm. one. Something about it's fire. Let me mm. say something, something about it sucks. Mm. On foot, they look okay. I see them on film, like ah, they, all right, all right. But that shoe is whack. All right, it's tacky. It's not whack. There's it a difference. It is tacky and whack. No. Mm. But there's some good about it. Mm. Mm. The material on there is a little crispy, bro. It's got like a suede velvet type yes, of it's toe a box. Fubu track suit. You talking about? <laughs> <laughs> It's velour, yeah, but I mean, it's, so there's something about it that's nice. They're overrated. Yes. If you want to say yeah. they're okay, well, yeah, of course, because cool. it's a thousand dollar yeah. shoe is way overrated. But yeah, but there are some thousand dollar shoes where I'm like, whatever. That one, I don't see why. I don't fire. see why. It's fire. The color, I don't see the color why. combos fire. I mean, it, well, it could just be it numbers just because people were low. Are, well, look yeah, I the, know the technical aspects man, of it, but I'm saying, the, look at the. I'm saying visually, like that's all I worry about. I thought I stopped again. I was about to be heated. Computer going to sleep. Dang, man. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, we got guests in the office. We can't keep our computer off. <laughs> man, what's up? Did the computer turn off? No, it's on. Why well, don't we hitting keys and stuff? Man, I'm 
I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna record this at my you. house. I'm Alicia, huh? <laughs> I didn't turn to sleep off on that. Yo, what's up? This stuff didn't used to happen until like three, four weeks ago. It was the first yeah, time. All of a sudden, stuff started yeah, happening all of a sudden. When the new ownership changed. Man. What number did I, what did I say last? Oh, Strange Low. Number yeah. five, Yeezy Quantum. Yep. Sucks, but doesn't suck. I agree. <sighs> yeah. Something I, good I about, about it, putting it on it. Something sucks about it. Like I see people wearing them, and sometimes they look alright. But like when they're not on the foot, I'm like, them joints is fire. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I haven't seen one in person yet. Neither have I. But the pictures. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you can just judge. Like, yes, something makes me want to wear it, but at the same time, I can see why it sucks. Number four, Sean Weatherspoon Asics. Trash. Oh, you think it's just oh, outright he trash? He doesn't like Joe like yeah. threes. Well, neither do I. But that's, that's what I'm true. saying. That's why Come it sucks, on. but doesn't suck. Shoe is I fire. like. Well, I like what they did, where you could change the Asics logo. I like that. What is that logo uh, called? Real question. Is that uh, a hashtag? <laughs> <laughs> I think Asics is probably about a hundred years old. So I don't. Yeah. I don't what, what, what is that? What is that? I mean, I know what the swoosh, Reebok, the Vector, the classic Vector. I don't know what the Asics one is. I thought it was like Cross Streets. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know what it is. No, we the original the pair, name of the why. business was Onitsuka Tiger, but it doesn't tell me anything. I yeah, we know. trashed a pair and cleaned it. And when I was cleaning the shoe, I was like, yo, what is this? What is this hashtag? Called? Like, what, <laughs> what, is, what is Ace they call their logo, dude? Like, I had no idea. You have to look that up. You huh? wild. <laughs> All right, yeah. I, I'm, it, something about the shoe is fire. Like, the changeable um, Asics logo. Hashtag. The, the hashtag. <laughs> Some of the swatches that he used on the shoe are good. I don't like that it's I don't like mismatched shoes. You already right. know that. Right. But but also when Ricardo said the shape is bad, I thought he was a fool. And then that Vans came to my house and the shape was bad. And so I said, all right, maybe he's onto something. Number three, <laughs> Yeezy 380 Alien, the first colorway. Wow. The shoe is <sighs> no way. The shoe is fire, but I saw somebody wearing it, and it looked like the flimsiest thing I've ever seen I in my can't entire tell life. Yet. Super comfortable. I know. Of Super course that. Yeah, They're I know. But it looked like the, like no, the they dude was flimsy. Okay, nah, nah, you nah, know nah, the nah. videos where them like chicks are walking down the runway and the ankles start yeah. twisting like that. <laughs> yeah, they Bro, start crib walking. Like man, at, yeah, I seen a man at Foot Locker wearing those, and his ankles was like this. Yeah, all right, all right. I have seen them like on foot like and thought they did look no flimsy stability because I mean clearly it's a lifestyle shoe, but like, I, you know, it's something about it. Like I haven't seen like some days you see somebody wearing it, it looks like a crazy loaf of bread. I didn't think they were whack until the second colorway came out. That alien one, fire to yeah, me. I love fire. that. But when the second one came out, it felt like everybody two, lost. Two of them now have sucked. The one that just came out. No, that was week. fire. The purple, no, the pepper one. That joint's fire. I almost bought it off undefeated. Fam, you probably can get that under retail right now. Oh, well. they sat everywhere. I think I might start buying Yeezys again, man. Yeah. Honestly, I think I am because those black three fifties that are coming out soon with that. Clear bottom, fam, them joints are fire. October 1st? Oh, yeah. Black with a clear bottom. The oh, black. yeah, that's, that's the one. reverse Zion or whatever it is. You've been talking about that since whatever. Fam, you could put on chinos with that. Suck. <laughs> Number two. I guess my list is better than I thought it was going to be because I'm not getting too much dissension here. Number two. <laughs> Travis Scott SB. Those are fire. Don't do that. Sucks, but doesn't suck. You haven't seen one There's of the first Yes, I have. Oh, okay. There's something about it that have makes it, it fire. Because when people have them on foot, I'm like, oh, it's fire. But then when you just look at the shoe, this sucks. The shoe is fire. No, no it's not. Every single person I that like said it. it was whack, every single person that said it was whack before it actually dropped, retracted their statements. Like, okay, they I no, Maybe no. I should get a pair. No, it, this is the category it should be in. No. It's Pros fire. and cons. I should have no. got your list, brought the shoes, showed them to you in person. <laughs> <laughs> and number one is blatantly obvious to me Jordan 4 Union the one they just did wow sucks but doesn't suck the tongue is dumb the toe box is fire the clear wings are trash why it's a full piece instead of a cutout I have no idea because the one man cut it out and it looked like complaints change a complete shoe um the I don't, and I don't mean tongue sucks. I don't know if this was on the show earlier, if we were arguing before the show started, but the tongue Swiss cheese is trash. I have no understanding of why that Swiss cheese. The folded tongue is cool in a concept, and also the fact that you can cut the seam off, cut the um, sewing off, and make it a full tongue. I like how they executed executed the shoe, but it has pros and cons by far. The and you could just go based on like people talking about it on social media. Half the people hate it. Half the people. It's like split down the middle. You either hate it or you love it. There's really no middle where it's like, eh, perfect example of suck but don't suck. I thought about putting it on my list, but I was like, eh, 
It just sucks to me. I can't do both. Now I'll do it. I see people wearing it, and I'm like, man, it looks kind of high in these pics. They yeah. kind of high. Every on they're, foot they're picture fine. I've seen is. I should have just brought them. I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I want to see them. I, I want to like, see them in person. They've been hating on the union. I should bring it in. Hopefully, I want to see it in person. Though. I was like, ah, I don't want to carry. Too oh many no! Things. Every time I've seen it recently, I'm like angry that I didn't buy it because I don't want to pay resale for it because I don't think it's eleven hundred dollars shoe or whatever in size twelve. But something makes me want it, which is exactly yeah, the yellow laces. No, well, okay, so I'll say this. Black has yellow laces, To right? me... What's that, guava? Mm, one of them had yellow laces. I think, yeah, they might oh, have okay. it. Okay, so to me, when people put those yellow laces in the one, I think it looks, at least on the black pair, I think it looks tacky because the laces... Fire. No, the laces with the off-white and black lace where it's one lace looks better to me. So when people put that yellow lace in, I don't like it. So, But when I saw it with the fours, somebody did it, I was like, okay, now I Let's can understand why. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Who's it going to? You want to go next? I'll go, go next. You I'll do? Go next. Yeah, All right. I'll go next. That's a good list, by the way. Mm. All right, so you number can't 10. Go wrong with it. Yeah, that was a good okay, list. Yes, I liked it. Yes, I like yes. it. You about to press last me. minute. Okay. Last minute save. <laughs> yeah, you, you, could tell, you could tell you could that number one is last minute. I was. Before. You saw how far. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show he was just scrolling. Uh, so number 10 for me is any Sakai waffle, I guess. Sakai. I <laughs> Look at his face. Me, that shoe to me sucks, but for some reason it doesn't suck. Uh, Sakai waffles. Yeah. One of the best sneakers of that entire year. You can't walk downstairs on them. No You're way. You're right. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, are tripping. Yeah, that, that shoe to me. a bad start. No. <laughs> uh, number nine, I went with the Yeezy Quantum as well, basketball. Um, yeah, that's I fine. mean, even that one, the Yeezy Barium, both. I thought they were fire. So I actually have the Barium at home. It's just chilling. I guess that was my most recent pickup of anything else. Um, sucks. Sucks in person, but something about it, I don't want to get rid of it. Yeah, it's something about it. It's the way it kind of leans a little bit. It's something about it, but they look gigantic. Gigantic. I'm going to be honest here, and I think I said this on the show already, but after winning the three or the 700 V3 and the Witherspoon on the confirmed app back to back and then losing Quantum, that made me angry. All right. I'm just being honest. Number eight, Travis 270. Sucks. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I, that's think a good that, one. I think uh, I think that that's might a good just one. go on exclusive suck. Now, because when I got it, I was like, oh, man. No, <laughs> you just did that because it was Travis. That's it. Oh, no, don't do that to me. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. Like I'm like I, like I'm a Travis see, fanatic. Well, Don't do that. I got it, and I I no, love what I meant. I, I like it because you didn't. Uh, I like the 270 model. I like that model a that's lot. It's not a yeah. 270 model though. It's like changed from. The, I mean, it's it's not the original 270 design. It's not the original one, but I like that 270 React. That's what it is. I put, like put it. Put one on, fam. You'll feel. Uh, I put the Travis 11. one on. <laughs> and you probably felt 5'11 when you did. No. It's too much heel. It's too that's much heel. Like, no, like, I like that. It's too much heel. Nah, be. Yeah. yeah, but something about that shoe. I mean, we cleaned a pair, and like that whole like dirty or rust kind of color midsole came off. It came and, off, and it looks way better in the white to me. I don't like that like vintage. Kind when, of I look. Got, so when, I got, when I got when I got when I got them when I bought them, and it had a tag that says "Warning: This Do will come good. off." Yeah. I was heated. Warning. I was like, "That's the point of this shoe, fam." You own uh. AJKOs, you know that yellow comes off easily. No, no, no. It doesn't come off easy on AJKOs. Yeah, that does. one, you just... Mm, yes, it does. Nah. Well, wipe it with something and it'll come off. <laughs> nah, they're really... Wipe they're they're water, actual I'll yellow now. Anything. They're yellow yellow Oh, well, now. you caked on dirt on top of that. That's why. You. <laughs> well, one time, twice. <laughs> so my number seven, I took it back because this used to be like one of my favorite shoes, but the Adidas Kobe Crazy One. It's a little space. Crazy One. I think, I think one, Greg likes man. those. That's, for That's me. a crazy one. Sucks. Crazy one. The first shoe we the had with Adidas. Shoe, yeah. Is that looks like a space shoe? You right? mean Crazy Eight? Crazy No, no it was Crazy, crazy one. one. Yeah, Crazy Eight is the feet you wear one. Uh Crazy One. Yeah. Let me see. Hold on. The shoe we had with Adidas, but the space suck. shoe, I'm pretty sure. Had to take it back. Let me see. Oh yeah, those suck. <laughs> those just suck, suck. <laughs> nah, there's, there's something no about question. them. I don't know if it was just growing up. A Kobe fan. Yeah, you probably got nostalgia about yeah. it, but also it's like his first Adidas shoe. It kind of makes sense. Fire. Those suck, um, suck. Number six, Fearless Jordan One, mid. I Which one is the fearless like one? The Melody Asani one. It's that like corduroy, different color. Color. Is it blue the great or Melody Asani? It's got to be one or the other, right? Or no? No idea. Uh, just... Fearless One, mid. Let me see, Fearless One, Jordan, mid. 
sucks, but it's kind of fire. This one? Oh, you talking about? No, no, no. no, you talking about the? Yeah, that one. Uh, um, Blue the Great. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah. it's either Blue one. the Great or Melody Assange. Uh, like I thought that, then I saw them in person, undefeated, and thought they were fire. Yeah, so all corduroy. Suck. Yeah, they suck, but they're kind of fire. Looking at them on the shelf. I like them so. joys. Them joys are fire. Um, so I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for this one just because it probably just sucks, sucks. And that's number five is Balenciaga Triple S. Oh, no, okay, sucks, sucks, yeah. sucks. Suck. But there's something <laughs> about them, man. It's just like wait, what's a Triple S? That big old like, oh, stop it. The main shoe. Don't yeah. do that. The big old no. Man. You want to don't do that. The funny part about the Balenciaga sock ones. No, no, no okay. No, no. I got those okay. Oh, no, they suck too. No, those are uh, fine. they're better than a Balenciaga Triple stone S, yeah. kicks, whatever. Those we got a size like nine. Right, it looked like a size thirteen. No, if we no, have no. a size thirteen. It looks like a twenty-two. No, it absolutely not, though. fam. Hannah and I watched that Jersey Shore, the one with Vinny and Pauly only, where they like date the girls or whatever. What's that? Why y'all do that? Because hmm? it's entertaining. He wears <laughs> that triple S on like almost every episode. He ties it like he has a game later. Sucks. You have to lift all the weights on your feet. It's at least five pounds. I bet he got mad hops. Now, you probably can't wear it unlaced. (laughs) I'll give you that, but I think you could loosely lace it. And I had a pair of Nordstrom's, and I was like, there is, this impossible. It's impossible. This is impossible. All yeah, right. I mean, but it's there's something about a certain colorway about that shoe that's just like, ah, it kind of doesn't suck, but it it sucks. Everything I've heard, like, people are confused about what size to buy. I mean, I know it's, you know, based in European sizes, but it's not that hard to figure out. I mean. <laughs> but it's huge. Once you see it, like, bro, a size nine, your foot's up here, but the shoe's like. Yeah, no like, way. I don't bro. need it. I don't, I don't need it. Uh, number four, I put any easy slide. Oh, yes. Easy slide. Yes, they Sucks. suck. Those go for a grip. Don't suck. That, those suck. No, All right. They just suck. They suck, right. but they, there's something about them. No, you know what makes them suck. okay is that they're $55. That what makes them like, well, I mean, maybe I get a pair. That's what <laughs> makes them okay. Like, that, that's it. No, I had a pair come in, and I was like, it was a size 12, and I was like, man, I want to kind of keep this one for A stuff. size and 12, like, and that has to look crazy. I got, I got you know? an 11 from end and Hannah tried to put it on and barely could get her foot inside yeah. the opening so on the narrow. shoe is like that yeah super narrow and I was like yeah I gotta pass on this shoe so it sucks nah I guess slides not really a shoe <laughs> uh, number three I have uh, Grateful Dead's suck Grateful the, Dead the bears yeah. oh yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's a good one that's cause good something one. about it I'm like yeah when someone wears it I'm like I will wear it but then it's if I would've old, got a pair I would've puffy. kept it well, it's, a, it's way too puffy. It's the puffy shoe. I can understand. Yeah. The hair on that, I hate teddy bear hair. You know how I feel Sucks. about teddy bear hair. Even <laughs> real life teddy so bears. Much Even as a kid. As a kid. I, uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't even want to have a weird mind now. <laughs> yeah, but Metacom, Metacom hair is, is, they use, uh, what is it, zebra? What is it they use on it? Whatever it is. Horse hair. It's horse hair. Yeah, so it's hair. way better than that curly yeah, poofy, like weird. It's just weird. Yeah, yeah but that's not it's real so. hair, though. That's the difference. Well, it's real horse hair on no, the Metacom. No, on the teddy bear. Yes, yeah, there's no teddy bears. Okay, <laughs> they didn't shave a teddy bear. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, I know that. You're trying to explain it. I'm saying I'm explaining not which not hair, hair I like. All right, which I don't makes, like the teddy bear. No S curl. The horse hair is yes. a fade. What, you, what else you got? Those uh, came two. with a brush and, a, and scissors. Fire. Uh, cactus, cactus Jack Air Force Ones with the zipper on it. Suck. Oh yeah, those suck. They don't suck. I don't think they suck. I'm not an Air Force suck. One person. I've never suck. owned a pair. I've never, and I refuse to own a pair. But they suck. When I saw them in person, I was like, these are really nice to me, man. They suck for sure. I, I mean, the zipper to me kills it. Like I don't like that whole zipper on the laces. It just I don't like sucks. that one because the, why would you need it to zip if it comes off? Like the point of a zipper on a shoe is to zip the shoe. Like it's you're zipping an added piece that. You okay? Which sucks. <sighs> Calculations, B. You good? Yo, what color is orange? <laughs> Spreadsheet. <laughs> guava. Yeah. So, someone listening to this chose guava for sure. <laughs> Yo, I typed it in right the first time, but like I said, I've been like conditioned or trained or whatever to know those questions are coming. Number one, from uh, Eric Emanuel's site, because Simple and Ricardo are always asking me to help him. And then number two... Um, there was a big release before Union that had a question. I don't remember what it was, but I knew that was going to happen. Well, undefeated raffles ask you a question now, like right. Kobe, right, right. You got to get the five or right whatever here. it is. And number one, worst shoe of the year to me, Chunky Dunk. Okay, worst shoe.
shoe of the year can't be suck but don't suck. Uh, but it's it it's can, it I can mean, be it can be because it sucks. Yeah, there's something I think they about did that shoe better. that sucks. I think and they could have did better for sure. But, but also, when just, people wear it, some of them look it looks good. But the sure. shoe sucks. I would agree. It's something about I it. I wouldn't lately. put it number one though, but it's like I saw the I would video. Put Strange Love over that one. No I saw way. Like, suck but doesn't suck. Oh yeah. Oh wait wait wait. Which one you think is better, Strange like, Love or like, Chunky Dunk? Like if we're going through no no, no I, w- I if you're asking me which one I would wear, it's Strange Love. But at the same time, I think it sucks. No way. Yes. You know how I feel about Chunky Dunk. Actually, you know what? I don't necessarily hate Chunky Dunkies. I hate how literal it is. Like it is literally the the tube of ice cream container like it's way too literal for me now when i saw the video you cleaning it i don't know if you're cleaning it, but you're talking about sb dunks you had a tiffany you had a chunky donkey on the table might have been an older video i don't know what video it was and oh, I, s- I just did that stock x video oh okay and i was like man that's every time i see a chunky donkey they get better and better to me when i see my feet they always look pretty good nah. now I don't know if I can say they suck now, but they do suck now. You know what? You're right. They yeah, suck, right. but don't suck. <laughs> and that's why it's my number one. It sucks, but there's something about it that just like... Y'all gonna really hate my list. <laughs> yeah, my list. Well, it sounds like you went back for Paul. I went... I went... I, because I already in my head, B. Uh-huh. Number 10. I got Jordan Spizite, so... <laughs> I, was gonna, I, was, I was gonna add it, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to offend nobody. He, he don't remember, but when the that Knicks, was the first, yeah, dude, that was the first story you ever, the story you ever told. When me. the Knicks Spizz Eye colorways first came out, I paid like this like site that like yo pay ahead of time now pre-order them. I pay like three twenty for the orange mm-hmm. and the blue. Yeah. Now I ended up not getting them, so they ended up refunding me. But even to this day, when I see the OG colorways and the spikes, that Gucci colorway, that greenish white and red, I be like, these joints don't suck, but they suck. The shoe is bigger than you. And everything <laughs> is bigger than me, fam. Number nine, Jeremy Scott wings, fam. Jeremy Scott wings are weird. They're whack, but the model of the Adidas is just Jeremy a pro Scott model. Scott is weird. Okay. <laughs> no, we're talking about. We'll do top ten weird people later. The <laughs> wing model. Marilyn Manson, Jeremy Scott. I do my list right now. The weird. The, those Kanye. two kind of similar. <laughs> um, but oh, I'm kind of falling back on Kanye too. He's been saying some smart stuff lately, fam. You better it's relax. Smart stuff lately, fam. You better relax. So look, number nine, Jeremy Scott. You Williams. came here as a new person. Number eight, I got Air Max Seven Twenties. The new Seven Twenty. The really? big. I love looking at that shoe. And then when I got when I put it on my foot, I was like, what? What model? The 720. 720. The they new like Air the Max 720. Color. Oh, they have that. I told you. It was OBJ has taller a taller than you color. The OBJ colorway. It's taller than he is. Damn, I was hoping wanna, that. I was trying to get to at least 5'6". I was trying. <laughs> uh, all right. And the, the Pride Week ones, the Be True, them joints are the best colorway in them to me. They had them at the outlets. They're stacked. No, no. But here, spilling over at the outlets. The Every, almost I would say three out of four of the colorways on that shoe are fire, but the shoe sucks. It doesn't like, suck. They executed so many colorways really good, but if you put that on uh, a Air Max 2010 or an Air Max whatever, 2016, f- they would fly. But that model, they put all those fire colorways on all those shoes, and they, they sat. I mean, they're all under retail. I like them, but I don't like them. And I would definitely buy a pair for like thirty six twenty four. I'd buy a pair after you taxes. Go, you gotta go to the Ooh, <laughs> after taxes. Ah, I gotta think about it. I gotta sleep on it. Number seven. Yeah. Number seven, I got all three of these. The off white vapor and the Kiger, Kiger and the Waffle. The off whites, those like little You've been talking runners. about those way too Fam, much. I actually I don't even know if I think they suck. I love those shoes, man. Not they look problem. good to me. I don't know why that's the off white model you go on right now. Retail on StockX and stuff. Some sites still have a couple sizes. Like Undefeated had the Kigers for a minute, the waffle for a minute, like in a 14 and a 13. You wild. All right. They suck, but don't suck. That's like the track one, right? Like the yeah, with the spikes. On it, bro. That's crazy. Why do people suck. love talking about the spikes? Like they're actual spikes. When you put your foot in it and touch the ground, they turn flat. Relax. <laughs> like yo, you about, to, you about to run the track? Relax. Turn, that's what it looks it like. Let's like, say you about flat. to hop on the track. All right. Somebody was like, "Yo, them cleats." Like, <laughs> relax. Number six. I got all Laser Four Jordans. Wow, that's a good I, one. That's a good one. I, wow, every I didn't laser go back four, very far. Obviously, every but well, even the, the newer one right. that we had with the clear bottom, I love that laser four. You look at a laser four, like man, but then I'm like, these, I hate laser, but for some reason, I like the shoe. Like it just looks that's a good one. Laser four is a good one. A good one. You love, love that the, shoe. They I love really? Laser fours. Yeah, I love yeah. laser fours. Number five, I got Jordan one Dave White's. 
I don't know what it is about a Dave White Jordan one. Yeah, you must not be talking about the sample. Not the gold pair, obviously, <laughs> but the one that came out for us. No, those. Just I suck. like Dave White Jordan ones. They're okay. You can't. No, no. He ruined it when he showed the sample pair, and then this is yes, what we got. Yes, of course. The auction off sample pair was way better. Why it was even gold show the toes. picture? Because man, that's, that's the times we live in. I'm shocked because that's my favorite Jordan one. What? Yeah. A favorite? All right. So I had to tell the story real quick. So I had that pair. I bought it for like a hundred bucks off of someone like they needed money, right? I did landscaping in my backyard. Lost the right shoe. I only have the left. So my <laughs> left one is on display in my game room, How and I've never you? bought it. How'd you lose the wood? You bury no it? <laughs> Let me pour some mint. I, yeah. I have no idea what happened to the right shoe. I still have the left one on display on my sneaker shop. It's my Damn. favorite. Jordan. Put in pavers. <laughs> <laughs> Put in pavers, and it's under there. Uh, <laughs> number yeah, but Dave White off ones. I look. I'm like, I mean, Jordan ones. I'm like, man, these suck. But I something about them. Oh, I love them. You don't need. To, you don't even think about it. They number suck. four, recent, like what last year or two, Nike Joy Rides. When I look at a Joy Ride, I just want to put it on my Something foot. about the one with the little balls inside? Yeah. Balls. I just want to put it on. Like, I look at it like, man, but then I saw them at the outlet. They're all at the outlet. And I was like, I bet you they're not even comfortable. Sucks. Someone said they are. Someone said they're not. I don't know. Um, number it three. It would be perfect for companies to come up with something like that. That's supposed to be literally all comfort and then it's just sucking. Uh, number three. I got Jordan Dub Zeros, man. I have always mm -hmm. liked the shape mm -hmm. of Dub Zeros. So I didn't care for the colorways on them. There was a couple colorways that was Dub all right. Dub Zeros are wider than this room. All right. No, <laughs> yes, they're not they that are. wide. Yes. No. They, no, don't do that. De uh, did, what's the name? DeAndre Detroit Man. What's Detroit? Ugly man who shoots like 40% from the free throw line but gets 27 rebounds a game. Oh, He, uh, he wears Dub amazing. Zeros because of how wide the shoe is. It's the only shoe that fits his width of his foot. Fam, Dub Zeros are fired though. No. I, I like them. No. I like the shape. Not fire. I take that back. Don't do that. <laughs> I won't make a mistake. Don't do that. They're not fire. They're not heat. But I like the shape of them. I like the way they look. I like how the toe kind of comes you through the front. I like the height. You and I don't DeAndre like the pull Detroit, that man. That's it. All right. What's his name? I can't even think about it. But I know what you're talking about. He's a dude that's all hairy. And everyone thought it was tattoos. And they was like, he has oh. body hair. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this what? meme. Only and they were thing like, I know is he shoots 40% from the free throw line, but averages 27 rebounds. Um, you know exactly what No, I know who you're talking about. Number two. Air Max 98s. Um, there are only nah, two. I can't support that. There's only two, and maybe for you, only one Air Max 98 we like, and that's Gundams. The blue, red, and white nah, pair. No, the orange ones are fire. I just, mm. I was like, I can't wear these. Air Max 98s. Um, you put if them on your now, feet. 2020, I would be able to wear them. You put an Air Max 98 in your foot, it turns you wear with this shirt, it huh? wide. It gets wide. But I look at them like, man, I love this. I have two. I have the one that Jay got me, the year of Chinese dogs, yeah. whatever. Oh, and then I got those? the, no, I got those. And then I, I sold the denim yeah, ones. you were dying for those. The denim ones that me and Josh, but they look like Western denim. I don't know what oh, they yeah, are. Oh, those suck. I told yeah, you those, those suck. Those suck. But they you look like, believe me. Man, they look like some you wear to barbecue grill in. Number one, number one is one of the most fire wax shoes of all time. And that's Jordan 14 Ferraris, dude, the red ones. I look at Ferraris. You put okay. a lot of Jordan 14s on there. Don't do that. Okay. Jordan 14s are top five Jordan of all time. Don't do that. No. Apparently so, because I couldn't even get a white and blue pair from Foot Logger. Whew, I didn't even try, but those are fire. I'm Jordan 14 Ferraris. You look at them and you like, these joints are fire. Matter of fact, let me go on Foot Locker. And then real you quick really look at them and put them in your feet, and the carbon is cheap, and you're like, God, these suck. I wore those one time when you guys came to my house. With a, I wore those with a Michael Jordan jersey. Actually, no, I didn't. When did I wear those? Whatever. You were. I saw Sold you wear them. them. I paid retail for them. I mean, I paid resale for them. I hated them. Even the yellow ones, I think the yellow ones in person, they look okay. Like, it's something about them that's attractive. But a Jordan 14, a Jordan 14 needs a different color toe box. You can't have one solid color in a Jordan 14. When the Supreme came out with one, that black pair, fam, if your toe box isn't black or white and the rest of the shoe is another color, whatever... They do with Jordans, it's whack, dude. To me, all right. <laughs> Except for candy canes. Not, I hate calling candy canes, but the white reds, it's all white. It's got to be all white. You got to look at them, though. No. But Jordan 14 Ferraris, for me, is a suck but don't suck. Number one greatest of all time. Suck but suck, don't take it to me. That's all I got, man. <laughs> I don't think anybody can have a whack list. Uh, there was only one that I thought, and maybe you said it, that I was like, okay. Yeah, you know, number wild. 10. What was it? Uh, Sakai. Oh, yeah, he's wilding with Sakai. No so way. You might be one of the only people. Actually, there's like a couple people that don't like Sakai's. I know, but Sakai waffles are unreal fire. <laughs> uh, 
Mine are beaters now, though. So mine fell behind the dryer. That's how beat they are. And I wouldn't even go back. <laughs> all there. right. I'm all put, behind the dryer, and and I lost a shoe. <laughs> I wore them. I wore them the other day uh, to my. Well, well, I sent you the picture. It was at my uh, in laws. We was over there. They had the the band, the mariachi band, and all that. And we were in the oh, dirt. Oh yeah, you they were got dirt. I'm talking like that real dirt, right? And I put them on the dryer, and then I put the dryer on like crazy tumble dry, and they, they vibrated and fell behind the dryer. <laughs> I haven't reached behind it and got it. And I'm not going to until I, <laughs> until I feel like it. So, um, okay, it's late. Dang, we're super late. All right, I appreciate Johnny coming through. No, thank you for having me. Appreciate the, the shirts and the hat, man. I definitely appreciate it. I yeah, love Absolutely. Let me tell you something. I don't like getting, I, I don't expect stuff from anybody when they come on here or when people send us stuff or whatever. I mean, I expect bags of money. But I, I, I love the that. Skies, but. but I do like having another shirt to wear to this podcast. Uh, like I tell people, our entire fit is shirt and hat. All right. So having another shirt to wear out here at Fire, appreciate it. I wish nothing but the best for many worlds. The store is Fire. I will be going What's, to do let it. Let me see that one. What's on that one? Check is it, out. it the same shirt you got on? Same yeah, one you got on. Wash. Stone wash, stone wash shirts. They're in, people. They're in. I went we to Target. Different, like or four different colors, actually. We had like a, a purple moss one, green, an orchard. Yeah, yeah the orchard and one. Ash fire. Fire. I might have to come cop Um, appreciate you coming through. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah. Uh, what's the IG? Everything else yeah, again? They can check me out. Um, me personal at Johnny Bubbles Official. And that's J O N N Y Bubbles Official. Um, check me out on Many Worlds and YouTube. all the rejuvenator videos. Yeah, cleaning, cleaning sneakers. That's it. George, you got anything else? Nothing. Nothing. Um, stop arguing with me online if you can't bring actual receipts to the argument. Yo, what's up with you, man? <laughs> Tired of arguing with people online who ain't got the facts, fam. Fam. I okay. Well, that's fine. That's it. Anything else? Nothing. That's think this. That's it. All right. That's the show, Johnny. That's the magic. 